Hello everyone, I'm Nelson. So in this video is going to be a full playthrough of my empire here, the Shep Golden Church. So the main idea behind this empire here is that these guys, the Shep, they once had a early space age, solar system wide civilization with different nations, star bases, organizations, corporations, and religions, all that kind of stuff. And the one we're talking about, of course, is the Golden Church, now known as the Shep Golden Church, because it's all that's left of the Shep, but we'll get there. The Golden Church was a church started, a mega church started on the home planet of the Shep, and while they had a decent following, and of course a very, very um, generous following, very, very generous with their donations, they were not very respected by the rest of the Shep, especially on the home world, and well, some even called them a cult, if you can believe it. But no matter, the Golden Church leadership, they saved up the money, the donations that they got from the the faithful and built the largest space station the Shep have ever seen the SGC Golden Endeavor now this was a home meant for the faithful to come live without the judgment of the Shep on the home world or the rules of course they could just live in harmony as one big golden church in the sky and well once they got there they preached they preached about how the unbelievers on the home world, the ones that persecuted them just a little bit, judged them, they would get their due. And man, did they. <laughs> the home world of the Shep got destroyed in some catastrophic explosion that still no one can have a reasonable explanation for. And well, this validated the, the, <laughs> the church pretty greatly. I mean, if this doesn't, if that didn't show that the church leadership were onto something, I don't know what else would. The rest of the star bases in the system and anyone else pretty much not on the home planet but was out in Shep, or Shep space still, well, they joined the Golden Church and the Golden Endeavor to make the civilization that we know today as the Shep Golden Church. And of course they would. I mean, you had to. So yeah, we are a big mega church, a void dwelling mega church, and a gigacorp at that. And of course, the point of this empire really is to play with the Gigacorp Civic, or at least that's what I'm trying to do here, as I don't really ascend planets too much. I don't really, I've never played with the Ascensionists uh, Civic or the, you know, corporate version, Gigacorp, and I just, I kind of want to try it out. I don't really ascend planets unless I'm trying to waste unity in the end game or something, so today I'm going to ascend my planets to the max, hopefully, and build enough, build up enough unity and, uh, traditions to ascend my planets early. Of course, you need traditions to be done before you can ascend planets too far. Each ascension tier requires some kind of uh, ascension perk, I think. Something like that. Either way, you need a lot of unity, and this empire is built for unity. We have traditional Shep, we have fanatic spiritualists, of course, which makes sense, and we have pacifists. I was going to go xenophile for extra trade value, but the Shep are just kind of built for this empire, and I I didn't want the Xenophile so that we could keep Shep Golden Church for the Shep. I mean, look at these guys. Void Dwellers, Thrifty, Traditional Rapid Breeders, and of course, non-adaptive because that doesn't matter. We're Void Dwellers, so yeah, that's kind of how it is. It's going to have to be a Shep Golden, for, Golden Church for Shep. Of course... The Golden Endeavor and everything built by the Shep Golden Church is a sanctuary for Shep Faithful, after all. But yeah, in in reality, we're just we're just you know perfect for this empire. I would I would prefer to have my species. So yeah, we're going pacifist and we're going to set um alien species to displacement, not purge. I mean, well, displacement is technically purge, but we're not going to purge them. We're just going to displace them, and keep the Golden Endeavor and all other Golden Church stations for Shep. So yeah, I think that about covers it. We're trying to play with Ascension this time, long story short. Here are our settings. We are going to be playing on a medium galaxy, Bard Spiral, and we're going to have a few more AI empires than normal, but other than that, pretty normal stuff. One times Crisis Strength, Iron Man mode on, of course, and everything else is about normal. The only thing that's different really is that the endgame start year is going to be 75 years in advance. So we are going to be seeing that one times crisis, not too strong, but we're going to be seeing it fairly early. I mean, 75 years early, 75 years is a lot of time to prepare for a crisis, so 
It's going to be a bit early, but I think we can take it. I think we can take it. If not, let's hope our planets are at least very ascended by the time they are blown to smithereens by that crisis. All right, so here we are. Let's see our home cluster of systems. Okay, not bad. We have a bunch of different systems. And we have a 15 tile alpine world kind of in a weird offshoot of our home world. Of course, we don't need any worlds per se. Oh, we get a scientist that has plus 10% survey speed. That's lucky. Um, I guess we'll get this started here. Get this science ship exploring. So it looks like we have, as long as this isn't connected to anything, we have a good cluster of the galaxy here to defend if we want. So we have a barred spiral and it looks like we're in this spiral here, I guess. Kind of close to the center, but not too close that we're in any danger of blocking anyone off. Okay, we have found aliens already. Speaking of aliens, let's uh, let's do what we said we would do and put this to displacement. So just in case we get any aliens, yeah, that's how it's going to be. Sorry, aliens, but uh, you know, there's other empires for you. Our, our star stations are built specifically for us. Um, I think it's wise to be cautious. Yeah, I think it's wise to be cautious, just in case. Just in case we find out that our homeworld was destroyed by aliens instead of divine retribution. We should uh, be cautious. Let's see here. Mm, bam. 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 Yeah, that's what So we have the habitable world survey thing, which I don't think I've ever said we have more important things to focus on, but I think this playthrough, I think we have more important things to focus on, not only because I want to hire a science ship, uh, scientist, and we need the influence for that right now, but uh, yeah, I we need this science ship more than ever. Science is the mirror of the v divine. Okay, if you say so. But we need this science ship more than ever as, uh, well, we need to explore these systems and claim them before anyone else does, as we are pacifists and are limited to liberation, or er, liberation wars, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, liberation wars only for us. So that's what we're going to have to work with. We can't really, if we lost one of these key choke point systems, we would just be out of luck. I mean, we would just, yeah, in fact, we, this is not the smartest thing. We, we should, we should be getting these choke points best we can. Yeah, let's do that. So if we if we lose one of these choke points, we're not conquering it back, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like we have a hole. Okay, so this is this is a double choke point here. All right, well we need to do this then. But of course, it makes sense lore-wise too. As uh, yeah, we we don't need to survey planets. We we simply cannot settle them. So yeah, I I plan on turning all of the planets that we find within our borders. Uh, just not colonizing them at all, and instead making them, uh, making them consecrated worlds. Yeah. We can have up to three, so hopefully we find three planets within our borders, just so we can consecrate them. And what do they do again? Increases ethics attraction and empire-wide amenities, as well as unity generation, scaling to the spiritual significance. Yeah. So, we're probably gonna do that. We might do that early on, too, as well. I'm not exactly sure, but... Any worlds that we find are just going to be consecrated and left alone, as uh, aliens are not allowed. This is a Shep church. And, uh, sorry. I, I chose the, you know, just going down the Shep only route, because not only have I got these civic, or not civics, but these traits specifically to benefit our civilization here. Like, I have kind of, I don't want to say min-maxed it, but I've kind of min-maxed it. And also, the Shep, they have plus resources from jobs on on worlds let's see where is that say yeah no yeah they get the void dweller which gives pop output on habitats plus 15 percent just overall so System survey yeah and not only that but other species wouldn't be you know as habitable they wouldn't be it's just, it's just all around makes more sense and I'm gonna go psionics as well so having other species as our leaders would be bad as they would not be psionics unless I converted every single species with the uh, let's see what's it called 
I don't know. We can't see it, but I'm pretty sure it's assimilation that we would have to do for every single species. And it's just... It's just a headache. It's probably easier just keeping the specially built stations to habit Sheps as for Sheps. Oh my good god. What is this? Population 3 pops? Dominant species Red thro Thory? Wait, is this a... Wait, oh, I know what this is. This is an advanced start, isn't it? This, that is an advanced start, I'm pretty sure. I'm also pretty sure that's like a, like an empire that's, is this, is this an, um, is the Red, Red Thory, is that an empire that, that is like, um, pre-custom designed by Paradox? I don't know. I feel like I've heard that name before. It sounds familiar. We, we are going down expansion just because, yeah. It seems good. Starbase upkeep, empire size. We're going to want to keep our empire size down as much as possible so we can keep this unity flowing. We have a lot of pops. Um, I guess we'll build a corporate culture site. It's probably for the best. Hopefully these guys are friendly and uh, hopefully even updated. more importantly they're religious. We got the Assyrians, which isn't too good. Um, but yeah, I mean, they couldn't have colonized the world already, right? So this, this has got to be an advanced start. And, yeah, since they only have two pops, it can't be their home world either. So, yeah, it's got to be an advanced start through theory or process of elimination. We have a general. Interesting. Our, ener <laughs> our general is a butcher. Um, why don't you go on yielding for a change? And fertility preacher. That's a damn good trait. Yeah, we'll go there. Uh, hopefully we can grab these systems here, but uh, it's not looking like we probably will. Hopefully we can at least grab this one so that we only have two choke points with whatever green goop monsters that inhabit these worlds. Hopefully friendly green goop monsters. Hopefully religious. Okay, so we're figuring out these aliens' language. We can either contact them in the safer low speech or attempt to speak their language. I guess we'll try it. Uh, if we, <laughs> if we use the correct greeting, they will be impressed. Using the wrong one will be offensive. Um, ever his grappler's beckoning, his eyes opened. Uh, I guess his eyes opened. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll make friends with them for sure. An Red Throy. <gasps> they are the spiritualist the fanatic militarist. Oh man, this could be a very beneficial agreement we have with these guys. Especially as a uh, as an advanced Incoming start as well, which I'm sure these guys are. This meeting is surely blessed by the divine. Yes, Xenolinguistics. First alien encounter. Of course we will say yes to an embassy. Yes, they're already cordial to us. Let's send, uh, let's send the guy who talked to them in high speech. Let's send them on over. Hopefully we can get those, uh, research agreements and all that kind of stuff soon. They're belligerent, but not to us. They are friendly to us. Man, soon we'll, we'll have a commercial pack soon. System survey and this will be amazing. Unfortunately, we, uh, we got this really crappy system with only two planets. <laughs> Instead of uh, this good system from them. But we can't go to war with uh, with them for it anyway. So it's better that they're just friendly. System survey complete. We're also surveying these kind of systems. I'm, I am really hoping that we can get to this black hole here. Oh no. Oh, it's just an enclave. <gasps> okay, good. Okay. Yes, we'll, we'll try to talk to the enclave. The alpha aliens. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. All right. System survey it's looking complete. good. We have two planets that are definitely going to be within our borders. Two out of three. Maybe we might take this area of the galaxy as well. I'm going back to survey it now. We do have enough. We do have enough influence to get this. This is going to be essential. This right here is a thousand minerals. Just 
in a system and whether we can get to that system and establish a star base or not complete. that's that's the difference between a thousand minerals in the late game because uh, a matter decompressor is going to be great habitats are decent mining worlds sometimes but other times they're just downright awful unfortunately um we're only missing three amenities so is it worth is it worth building i guess we'll do another oh we don't we don't even have a yeah we don't have a hollow theaters so let's do that all right, it's looking like we are going to be able to get this. Uh, do these guys like us yet? They are superior. No, they're not. Hmm. Reluctive for branch offices. Wait, what does this say? This deal will grant us ten and f them five. Their most reluctant, their most lucrative planets for new branch offices. Oh, okay. So they tell us what the most lucrative planets are. For branch offices. Okay, I didn't know that. That's that's an interesting piece of information. Okay, let's finish this. And then I guess we'll do I guess we might do consecrated worlds first, which I've never done. But like I don't know. Do we need anything else first? I mean we could go one vision, get more unity, governing ethics attraction, which gives us more money. As every spiritualist gives us money. Hmm. Amenities usage would help us right now, actually. A lot of good stuff here. Um, I guess we'll go... I guess we'll go one vision and just try to pump out unity. We are going to need that eventually. I mean, it's just, like, perfect for our civilization. So... Construction complete. Um, this pill this pool's 0.5 of a building slot. Well, we need more building slots. Well, what does this build? 0.25. How many building slots do we have? Like, does it tell us? It probably tells us somewhere, but uh, I, I don't know. Okay, so we have the black hole, and there's another world here. Worst comes to worst, we just have to steal that world. Not steal, just, you know, claim it, and uh, we'll have our three worlds. They are all very small, which, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure consecrating smaller worlds has less of a chance of giving them... Like the better versions of consecrated the spirits have granted but uh, us it's better wisdom. than nothing it's certainly better than nothing okay so it is a curator order i'm pretty An sure do curator orders like always spawn near black holes i'm not 100 percent sure all right let's see them complete. let's get them to aid in our research of course very cheap at the beginning of the game and yeah okay hold on we were surveying these systems okay so it's looking like oh what about here? No, no, no. Here first. I'm, I'm getting our science ship... Oh, so, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting our science ships to just explore these systems to see if they have a world. Just to see if I actually have to claim this world or not. But it's looking like maybe I do. I don't know. I'm, I'm surveying this sector as well. And, like, it's not too impressive when it comes to the amount of planets. Which, of course, adds to the amount of building slots. Especially this one. I mean, it's not any good. This one's not really any good. We're not getting the craziest system. Oh, I messed up. Uh, do we want really 5,000? Yeah, we'll, we'll go for it. Why not? Construction complete. No, we don't want to do that. Just We'll just ride it out. Um, yeah, it's not looking like this section of the galaxy is even any good, which, I mean, I'm not committed to actually taking it. Like, if this, were, if this isn't good and this isn't good either, then, okay, we just won't. People just won't take it. Maybe we'll take this or this or over here. You know, I'm not 100% certain on taking it. Space we don't really need to. Okay, there is a creature in here. Okay, interesting. It's not. It's not looking good for these systems. We we might not even might not even go for them. Okay, so these guys just proposed a research agreement. Which means, yes, they have um, a lot more to do here. We don't want a migration treaty. Absolutely not. But we do want a commercial pact, of course, of course. In fact, we kind of didn't really want a research agreement. But we'll do it anyway. And, uh, yeah. Income we'll do the commercial pact, of course. And I think that's about it for now. We could do a defensive pact with them. But, um... The influence cost is just, yeah, we need the influence right now. In fact, it's the number one thing we need 
in the early game just to make sure no, just to make sure we can get all the systems we can before other other people claim them Anomaly as we're not found. getting them back it's just mm -hmm. not we're not system getting them back we also found this complete. incredible system with uh, a pre-sapient civilization here or, or sorry pre-fdl civilization in two worlds pretty big worlds as well nope so yeah, we definitely we're definitely coming down this the area of the galaxy here. I've already wisdom. already sent the construction ship to come and take it. I haven't seen well I've I've went into these systems, but they are nothing special. These systems, I've I've surveyed them. They're also nothing special. Nothing on these like it's this is an asteroid system with not even like really many resources in it, so yeah, none of these systems really have too many resources, so they're just kind of small systems with low resources not really worth taking yeah just not worth taking unfortunately so in fact I, you know what I'm probably just gonna stop surveying them and maybe come down here and see what these systems have to offer see if there's anything more I don't know maybe there will be maybe there won't be we're also surveying these and taking these because this is only like two jumps away from them this system especially is only two jumps away from them this is like three Construction and this is complete. like three yeah so we're we're trying to make sure that uh, they don't just come and back claim us here which the ai normally don't do but sometimes they do sometimes they do and that would be i mean imagine if we lost this system to our best friends here that would be very bad so we're not going to be doing that um we're going to make sure that we don't do that exceptional wisdom. individuals I never said that Xenos can't be leaders in our empire. Just uh, their pops can't be because I don't want regular leaders. But uh, if any, you know, weird spiritualist Xenos from across the universe want to come and serve, then that's fine. I also went down Prosperity be just because, you know, we could use it. Um, yeah, we have to keep investing in this because, uh, if you don't know, you can't upgrade more than a few Ascension tiers without Ascension perks. So we do have to go into traditions of course first but uh, then about midway through them we can start ascending our empire to the largest gigacorp this galaxy has ever seen at least hopefully we have found an avian science ship which will be the second civilization that we found third if you count the medieval things we have over here which yeah these things whatever they are I'm considering just trading with them. I don't know what our current policy is when it comes to yeah, non-interference. I mean, I don't see why we can't just trade with them. <laughs> like, yeah, can target espionage, can reveal our presence, cannot invade. Yeah, I think, I think I might just go active interference here, but we'll, we'll do that after. Oh, we should also, wait, I don't have any of these. I guess we'll do veneration of saints why not but um yeah so we have found the avians our envoy pimmy pimmy yumi <laughs> pimmy yumi is looking into it making sure these guys aren't a threat we have our construction ship coming to here to make sure at least they're cut off if they are a threat we probably will instantly upgrade this station with uh, with our alloys we have a lot of alloys which i hope so we are eventually gonna have to build many many habitats but uh yeah Currently, we are uh, we are investigating up here. This looks like a very, very rich system. We haven't even. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Lots more. Hello. Uh, materialists. Ooh. We don't desire conflict. United Nations. Oh, more materialists. No. No. And then these guys. Oh, well, at least they aren't materialists. Um, we have an election. Whoever gets elected is fine, I guess. Unless it's a scientist. Oh, it was a scientist. No, maybe I should have just... Oh, it was our head of research. No. Oh, maybe I... Maybe I messed up. Maybe I messed up. We need... <laughs> we honestly need more scientists, not less. Oh, no. Well, I guess whenever this person is done doing whatever they're doing okay these guys are far enough away which is good oh besides these guys these guys are nice they're at the very least not materialists so 
Oh wait, oh this is a common ground, isn't it? Yeah, I mean this looks common groundy. Interesting. Oh, well, I mean, we might have to get along with them. Might even join their federation. I'm I'm not I'm not against it. We are uh we are a mega church. Hopefully we can convert some people. We do have the Temple of Prosperity. Which, uh, yeah, and then we have the Executive High Priest, which ethics shift chance from Temple of Prosperity plus 5%. So hopefully we can pressure them into being spiritualists, maybe, eventually. Probably not, if they're, uh, you know, if they're materialists. But at the very least, the Xenophiles, we can maybe, maybe convert. These guys, we don't even have to convert. In fact, let's see, can we build a... We can probably build a branch office already. It costs 50 influence, which is bad. It's bad. But, 32. I mean, th basically doubling our income almost. It's just worth it, I think. And then we can choose something else to do with it as well. Public relations forum. I think the public relations forum would probably be best. Or this, just to make more money. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I guess we could do... Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just do commercial forum just to make more money. System okay, that just went up to 46. Complete. Yeah, we're making a lot of money from that. Ooh, those guys are at war. Oh, man. Oh, man. We also got a... We got a gamer here. Okay, he's a pacifist. You can tell I don't play pacifist too often because I've never seen this guy. Okay, so this guy is not really good, especially as a commander, but uh, I think we will enlist him just because he has this destiny trait, which piracy, suppression, crime, minus, and then stability. That's just pretty good. Minus crime, yeah. I, I'll, I'll enlist him just because we don't, we don't have nor do we need. You cannot allow the military to run amok. I will maintain order and bring those, bring justice to those who would cause harm. Okay, well, you're for now, you're going to be the one <laughs> commanding our ships. So, yeah. Um, ooh, that's not... Wait, can I, like... Can I, like, uh, revert that? I want, I want him to have governor traits. I am eventually going to make him a governor, because that's obviously what he's meant to do. Let's see. So if I elect him here... No, he still has these two things. Hmm. Um... um, um um, um, I guess we'll do aggressiveness. Sure, why not? He's not going to be a leader for too much longer. Or not going to be a, you know, an admiral for too much longer. But, uh, yeah. It's probably going to be a while, actually, before I s set up a bunch of star bases. We need the influence. Just, you know, make sure we can take what we can take here. Okay, finally we finished this, which is great. You can leave this science ship and come here. And, uh, yeah, I guess we can survey this. See what this is all about. Hopefully we can survey this quickly so that these guys don't get it. They'll probably be very <laughs> busy with their war. So let's see, what is it? Uh, territorial invasion. Wow, these guys are actually just trying to conquer them, huh? And this is definitely a, um, oh, it's a research cooperative. Okay. Yeah, this is a common ground start with three little common ground empires. It's really... It's kind of sad that these guys are getting killed like this. But, uh, you know, win some, you lose some. At least these guys are winning, and they are our very good friends. Yeah. Equivalent to us somehow. Maybe they had a naval battle already. Um, I guess we'll just send the ship to go orbit. Orbit there and kick rocks. Alright, so our core found. sectors are done for now. Oh, yeah, these guys are religious crusaders, so of course they would declare war on the materialist research cooperative federation <laughs> makes a lot more sense now that i'm thinking about it but yeah we're gonna have this down and uh all of our core territories are going to be uh are going to be fulfilled here we can't lose them i think we might just keep expanding over here and over here i haven't t tested over here yet this would leave like a big like <laughs> it would make our empire look very weird and probably make it very hard to respond to threats until we have a hyperlane that goes all along. But uh, these systems are just not good. They're just not... They're just nothing special. And these systems are. So maybe these systems will be too. P 
potentially all of all of this leads to like one or zero choke points here so we'll just have to see hopefully not many empires spawned up here hopefully we're only competing with these guys who are eventually going to wrap around that would be fine specialist pop resource i don't really think we need that R upkeep from jobs might might be better actually as we are always fighting our mineral losses um shields and we definitely don't need terraforming gases so i guess gene clinics we don't really need that either but we need everything else on there even less construction complete all right construction complete so yeah these guys oh oh they're they're winning you got you are a explorer you are an explorer i don't even care if you're the head of research or whatever we need you to explore the sigmas we found sigma males all right um i guess you can stop improving relations we have pretty good relations already where are the sigma males i don't know i guess we'll find out soon enough and of course the journey begins okay so we're witnessing the inhabitants taking their first steps towards enlightenment, looking up, opening themselves up to the mystery of the universe. Yes, so this reminds me, we never actually got around to doing the active interference thing, so we will do that now. Also, we shall answer their prayers as well. Let's help their growth speed. Anomaly found. So, Construction no. complete. But, um, yes, oh, let's do this. Also, the bird people that we found down here are, in fact, hostile, so... Yeah, let's get our construction ship out of there, in fact. Uh, was that a construction ship? <laughs> Maybe. I think I think they were trying to take the system. Actually, our construction ship is not in danger. Only our science ship, and it's not there, so... Anyway. Back to what I was doing here. Oh, I forgot to press understood. And then, weird heat blobs. All this investigation. Anyway, back to the matter at hand here. Yes, active in, in active interference. We are below here. Hmm. Let's do one more thing. Pass it. Um. I guess we can do peace festival, sure. And then, yes, active interference. Let's just go ahead and we cannot reveal ourselves at this System time. System survey complete. Um. They're using their awareness to fool. Depending on the current awareness, they will suffer. I guess we have to start, like, spying on them? Plant advanced knowledge, maybe? I don't know. Incre increase awareness? Oh, maybe, like... Oh, yeah, they'll... Okay, by opening the divine shoes, the inhabitants are approaching enlightenment. As the spiritual leaders, it is our duty to guide them. Of course, of course. Ooh, influence. That's very nice. So, I guess we'll... Oh, we can reveal our presence. Raising their aware... Okay. Reveal our existence. Raising their awareness. To full. Defer depending on their current awareness, they will suffer stellar shock for up to 50 years. Okay, so we want to increase their awareness then. So we actually want to spy on them and increase their awareness. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that. I don't want them to suffer from culture shock. I do want them to... Uh, I do want them to trade with us. That is the whole point of revealing our awareness. So I guess I'll I'll spoon feed them some information about us over some years and eventually they'll be a fine enough medieval trading partner <laughs> for our empire. All right. So we found the nation of Rigsaru. Interesting. An empire now speaks to us in All right, the land here we of are. Peace be with you, Rixie. Spirits do not look favorably. Hmm. I guess we'll go, oh, ruthless capitalist totalitarians, fanatic materialist xenophobes, wow, yeah, they, the spirits just do not look favorably on this meeting, dude, they just really don't, uh, okay, they're right on our borders, and probably hostile, oh, they're receptive, why, why are they receptive, they would, they would, <laughs> they, they, they would accept a commercial pact. Okay. I mean... Money is money, I suppose. Sure. We also found Halito. Which is nice. But yeah, I guess money is money. 
I really don't even know what to say to that. They were hostile, but now they're receptive to like complete. someone who's opposite their ethics. When they're xenophobes, like what? Found. Why are you receptive? I don't understand. You're belligerent too. Like, who are you people, and why do you like us? I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I'll, I'll improve relations with them and. Maybe we'll get a trade deal. Maybe we'll maybe we'll set up a temple of prosperity and convert them potentially. That would be quite the endeavor to uh, convert fanatic materialists to our cause. So our friends here are actually losing this war pretty badly, which is crazy because this is how like gotta be an advanced start, right? Because we had a we had a colony here setting up with two pops already at like I don't, I don't even know what point in the game like. We had our first science ship move out and then a system over. I don't think that was time enough for them to cl to survey, claim, survey, claim, colonize. I don't think that was enough time. I think this was an advanced start. So the advanced start is currently losing pretty badly to this <laughs> little federation here, which this guy alone is equivalent to me, which, you know, my fleets are not bad. And this guy is pathetic, so I'm, I'm assuming they lost all their fleets in the fight. So yeah, this guy alone is equivalent to me, and let alone their other two Federation members, I don't really know. Oh, hey, look. Our mascot. But, uh, yeah. These guys also are inferior to me, so I don't know how this little Federation member has gotten such a such a heavy-hitting fleet, but, uh, yeah. Our, our friends are losing. Which is unfortunate for them. Luckily, we're also friends with these guys. In fact, we're cordial with them. So, they would even they would even offer us association status as well. You know, you know, I'm, <laughs> you know, uh, I have no loyalty the to these guys. If these if these guys want to invite me to their federation, that is that is fine. I don't know if I'll join, but I certainly want association status. There is no downside to having that. Holy hell. <laughs> they have taken their capital. These guys have taken the capital. And now, we don't even have a <laughs> branch office in the old guys. We have a branch office in these guys. Which is crazy. That's just crazy. Um, I don't want them to be mad at us for having... Complete. I think they're mad at us. Okay. I think these guys are mad at us that we have a little... Uh, little store set up in their home world there so i'm gonna offer them a bunch of food as a gift and oh no it went from cordial to friendly what happened oh they're, they're happy with us now we just need to get these guys happier with us and then we can we can get a commercial pact and then yeah honestly <laughs> it's kind of brutal but uh i don't think i need an, a, a commercial pact with these guys anymore yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, bros. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need a commercial pact with you anymore. Well, I guess it can't hurt to have it, but I might break it in the future, which is like really brutal. But yeah, that's just how it is. Um. Oh, okay. So this is a little little thing here. Which which? Okay, that's popular rock. All right. So we have. So anyway, we have this kind of set up for us here. If we get to this system or this system, we have this. We have all of this, which might be a dead end by the looks of it. It might genuinely be a dead end here. In fact, you know, let's find that out right now. Let's find that out right now. And then this might also be a dead end in our system. So, and then this, it's looking like no one exists here. Or at least if they do... They're very far behind, so uh, I'm in actual danger of my empire becoming too big. Like I don't want. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I don't want like. I don't want my empire being too big. Right, because this is supposed to be a GigaCorp playthrough after all. So, mm, I guess we'll go with that. So we, like with. This wing of the galaxy pretty much guaranteed. This may be guaranteed, and also this we already have, kind of. I, I just... We might be in danger of... Getting a little bit too ahead of ourselves 
Like, I don't know. Th I mean, if I grab this and this and this and maybe even this as well, it's not like a huge empire. It's not, but it is certainly big. It is certainly big, but we'll... I guess we'll have a lot of things to choose from when it comes to where we want to put our habitats down. This is definitely going to be a habitat place here. This must have been one of the resource system, resource rich systems that were guaranteed because, well, it's certainly a resource rich system. So I think that might be one of them. And then I'm guessing this is the other one with the resort or with the research. It's got a lot of different research. I mean, this could be a crazy research station. I mean, it doesn't look like too much on the, uh, on the map, but yeah on the galaxy map but yeah it's looking like our empire might not be so tall but that's I mean that's not totally a problem right corporate yeah empire size from planets so yeah if we're just careful I mean it's not plus 50% from systems it's just from planets from colonies so, I mean, having a lot of systems obviously doesn't help, but it also doesn't hurt too bad. In fact, we could even be more choosy on where we want to set up our quote-unquote planets. Of course, we're going to have habitats, but yeah, we could we could even be more choosy on where we want to set up our colony. So, I guess it's not the worst thing to have a lot of systems, as long as we don't, as long as we don't go crazy on the habitats. Which I don't plan to anyway. I, I plan on having a, a good few habitats and ascending them. It's kind of the whole point, really. So, it seems like they are friendly with us. And commercial pack, yes. That is definitely we, what we want. Maybe search agreement, eh. And we also want association status. They won't let us join for some reason. It looks like we have negative 32 for joining. And then on top of that, one of them don't like us. Which is probably the negative 1000. But uh, that's fine. I don't want to join. I just want to be associated with you to potentially oh someone Incoming closed their borders to me don't really care but uh yeah here we go so okay we have everything we need and we can set up a branch office on their home world which we will do we have we have a good amount of influence at this point and yeah i, I think i'm gonna go temple of prosperity immediately just try to convert these guys while it's while they're in their infancy if we can get oh Hello. Where are your fleets going? Complete. That's concerning. Who else could you even attack at this point besides your new best friends here? That's that's the question. Hopefully the it's uh hopefully it's nothing. New wisdom. <laughs> but uh yeah, they want a migration treaty. A lot of people do, but there's there's not much migration going to be happening unfortunately. These stations they're for the faithful. Ah, uh, so it seems like we're not going to be friends with the ruthless capitalist totalitarian materialists anyway. Well, that frees up an envoy. <laughs> Are we no longer... No, we're still improving relations. Yeah, that, that frees up an envoy. They're equivalent to us, which is kind of scary, actually. We have a good amount of fleet. We have over our naval capacity by a good amount. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to close borders, because doesn't that, like, cost us influence? Doesn't, doesn't having mercantile cost us influence to close borders? Let's see. We are mercantile, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Closing borders takes... Oh, but they're rivals, though. So it doesn't it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? We can, we can declare rivalry against them. I mean, they are just the worst. They're xenophobe materialists. Fanatic materialists. So, yeah. No. That's fine. Uh, they are claiming us already. Wow. Uh, we do have a station here, which I do have already built defensive stations on. But I guess I'll do more. Yeah, I'll do more. Just max that out. Because they're currently our only threat in the galaxy at this point. Um, you can be a statistician. I guess it's not too important that we research faster. It's looking like this is, in fact, going to be cut off. So we are going to have all of these systems... And we may even get all of these as well. It doesn't look like these guys are too intent on expanding. Even though they definitely should. Okay, they're receptive to us now. What about the other guys? Not receptive. Not a fan of us. Not a fan of us. Well, um, you can do this now. Now that uh, an envoy is freed up. In fact, an envoy is probably freed up of these guys too. Because, yeah, I don't see us becoming uh, enemies anytime soon. So, let's get our... 
our spy network set up for these guys. Yeah. So we have lost the system to these these Federation members here, these guys, which also I didn't even notice before, but these guys have a ruined ring world, just a full ruined ring world in their systems. And they also have, it seems like the most planets as well out of this Federation. So these guys are going to be very, very strong. I only hope that uh, they stay friends with us and I can successfully convert them at least, you know, at, at least stay friends with them because having this in our borders when they're not friends with us would be very, would be very annoying. Also, even more importantly though, we have found the Democratic Human League, which is interesting. Um, all right. Democratic Human League. They're a representative democracy. Greetings from the Democratic Human League. We are a democratic nation committed to upholding individual freedoms of our uh, of our citizens, regardless of their species. Okay. Our elected leader, President Timofon, hopes for a fruitful relationship with your people. Interesting. I mean, okay. Oh, they, um, oh, okay. Oh, they're here. I missed that soul was here. Interesting. So are they vassals of, no, they're not. Wait, they're not vassals of these guys. They just let them go. Didn't even try to vassalize them or anything. Interesting. Oh, speaking of vassals. Speaking of vassals, these guys would probably, yeah, these guys would be my subsidiary. Hold on. Yeah, these guys would be my subsidiary. Just because they're so weak now. I honestly don't want to do that though. It might it might piss these guys off. How, wait, they don't even really hate them. They're not even rivals. Hmm. Wait. No, they do hate them. Oh, and they do have... They do have it claimed as well. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. They have all these systems claimed. So I don't. I don't want to vassalize them, because that'll ruin our relationship with the Federation, which I don't want to do. I do want to make sure these guys are vassalized by me before. Um, before they can get taken by the Federation as well. I. I. You know what? I will guarantee their independence. It takes 0.5 influence, but we just got a lot of influence back, so. Yeah, no, I will I will guarantee their independence as well. Awareness is increased. I missed why. I didn't I don't think I've done like this mission yet. I think I've just been gathering intel. But you know, I'm not gonna argue with it. Sounds good. Oh, they're um they're in the industrial age. Questioning what might exist beyond their systems. Well, something definitely exists. Okay, so they're not spiritualists, but they're also not materialists, which is good, I guess. Yeah, well, we can work with that. And these guys, we're also probably going to work with. Hopefully, we can subjugate them soon. I do want, uh, I do want the humans to be okay. I have a soft spot for them. So I have a choice here in my elections, and I think I'm just going to elect this guy. I mean, I have plenty of influence. Complete. Our empire is built around... Okay, he got elected anyway. <laughs> here I am talking too much, and uh, he got elected anyway. Also, I built the habitat, and it is getting colonized. It's going to be called the SGC Golden Pursuit, but... Yeah, I'm considering taking the SGC out of these names, just, uh, you know, like, just to, I mean, you get the point, like, it's, they, they the name all their ships SGC's complete. golden something, but if I just take that out, then I can kind of see better. Yeah, I think I'm going to just take that off. Oh, hello. What do you mean, heretics? Where? Oh, pirates and our new friends. Okay, well, uh. All right. Why are you surveying there? Like you could go survey here and here. Like these are important systems to survey, not this. Why why survey that? I, I don't understand. I don't get it, but all right. The Carabineers, we have found them. The racket. 
Okay, Mr. Racket. Um, we have found a 25 tile arid world, which is great. Not for our people, but for, uh, for blessing that world. And we have found this system. Holy crap, I have yet to look at this system. This is all new to me. And, uh, wow. Lots of worlds, stars, lots of resources. And a storm, too. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll definitely... I'll definitely, uh, set up a habitat there eventually. I think the next habitat... Okay, we're, we're definitely intervening here. We are not letting these guys get crushed by an asteroid. No way. Oh, I better pause the game. Get there. 471 days. Hopefully they get there. Oh no. Let's send both of them just in case, like, we get there last minute and we need the firepower. 400 days. Ooh, I should not have been messing around. I keep messing around. I keep going too fast. I need to pause. Oh no. Yeah. They're building orbitals, which is fine. I'm probably- where was I gonna build the next station? Oh, I think here, yeah. Here is where I'm gonna build the next station. I know it's pretty empty when it comes to resources, but this next station is either gonna be a trade or industrial station, and I don't need really the resources out of it, per se. That's not the reason I'm building it, so... Should be fine. This system is really good, though. Hopefully, our... Do I need to build, like, defense station? Like, how do I save these guys? I genuinely, I don't know. I don't want these guys to die, not even a little bit. Awareness decreased. Well, that's not what we want. Okay. We would like to establish a think tank eventually. Yes. Yeah, this is uh... The apostates are after our spaceport. I would, I would like you to increase awareness, actually. Oh, but that costs influence. No, we are not doing that just yet. We need influence for everything. Hello. Oh no. Oh no, our scientist went down there and became a god. You're insane, dude. You're freaking insane. I love your background, though. That is really cool. And it even matches with the golden church. Like, looks like he went down there and potentially, you know, <laughs> extorted gold from them. Uh, yeah. On the contrary, I've never been more lucid. No, you, you, you are insane, dude. You are insane. We are spreading our faith. And you also to might die world. potentially. This is getting close. Mm -hmm. Is the defense station? I built three defense platforms, and they can't reach. Oh no. One hundred days. Oh no. What, who is in fleet combat? Like who? Oh, these guys. Did they actually send missiles or whatever? No? What are our defense stations looking like anyway? Maybe we do- maybe do we do, like, missiles? Missiles, please? Maybe? Potentially? Maybe just do all missiles? Name it something else? Can we, like, change this? No. Can we like get rid of it and then? The spirits have granted no, we can't. Us new can't wisdom. do anything. Okay, we are here, and it looks like just in time. Okay, I tried everything to save these guys. Uh, nor will they. Yeah, I guess. I guess we won't tell them. All right. Well, I just want to. I actually want to destroy these stations anyway, because you're just useless now. And I made a useless thing. Yeah. Alright, well. Oh wait, did that just increase awareness again? Hopefully it did. Partially aware. Okay, good. It's going down every month though. We want it to go up. <laughs> I don't know how else to like blow our cover though. I'm not really sure. Starhold or destroyers. Well, we have a good military for now. So I guess Starhold. Yeah, we'll go Starhold. Alright, a uh, crisis averted. Yeah, you should definitely build all these stations. <laughs> 12, 1, 1, yeah. That's crazy. And uh, are we building the next station here? No, we are not. Um, I guess we should build it like... I guess here's a good place to build it, yeah. 100 influence more. We also spent influence, um, influencing these guys as we have a commercial pact with them and a temple of prosperity. And they only have one world, so I know... Spiritualist ethics attraction should be 
doing pretty good for them. Ask to be their subject, but we can't propose subjugation. Oh, we have to stop guaranteeing their independence. Well, we're, we're not going to do that just yet, because that costs influence. So, subjugating them costs influence. I'm not even sure we can subjugate them at this point, so... Incoming transmission. In fact, we probably could, actually. Okay, Golden Pursuit, here we are. I guess I'll do this just for the pop growth and amenities, since that's what we need, and then... I'll also do this, and this, and... Yeah, I, I guess I will stop. Let's let's revoke guarantee. Hopefully they don't hate us too much. Alright, propose subjugation. They would accept. Awesome. You can do anything you want. You can do anything. We just need... No, you don't need to come into our conflicts. Yeah, we just need some... Okay, let's... Oh, man. I don't have the influence. Oh, now I do. Okay, good. Um... Yeah, that looks good. We can have two holdings. They'll be loyal. Yeah, sounds good to me. Alright, my favorite new subject. Um, let's see here. Let's do an aid agency. And then... Ministry of Truth? System sounds good to me. Complete. Conflict? Oh no, war is broken out on Gothic 4. Certain factions on the planet have managed to cure wealth to monopolize production. Others have revolted. Oh. Darkers are far too entitled. <laughs> oh no. So what, do we... Is this an, like an event that we, we do? We, we... T no, it's not one of like the events. Interestingly enough. Okay, well, I guess we'll just wait and see how, how it pans out. Alright, so we can get adoptive uh, or sorry adaptive economic policies which we will do and we are in fact going to yeah our trade is 170 we're going to trade our trade <laughs> um where is our economic policy i know trade policy here we go to marketplace of ideas so we're going to be getting unity and half the trade uh, and half the energy credits from our trade value which is good we want we want unity and we have plenty of money Especially from other things. Um, the delinquent employees ha have tired themselves out and their arrogant revolt has ended in failure. The executives have remained control through tactful corporate restructuring and performance management. Okay, so these guys are a megacorp? Interesting. No, it says they're splintered species. I guess different megacorps control different parts of these, this planet, I guess? Which is interesting. Speaking of control, these guys have completely snuck up on me, and I just realized it. They are all the way on my border, which is crazy. I like I don't even know who these guys are, but they've they've somehow snuck all the way up to my border here. Which again, I don't care about these systems. I don't I don't particularly like them. I just didn't expect anyone to be back here, but no, there is, and we're not even researching them. How did these guys like go under my radar for so long? I, I don't understand. I guess this is why he wasn't surveying these systems, is because, like, somebody already had them. Did they really have those systems all the way back then as well? That's crazy. Well, it looks like, um, well, actually, you should go over here then, as these are the last systems that we're going to be having here. These and these. So it's looking like our, the shape of our empire is going to be, like, kind of a weird S. If you can even call that S. It's not even an S. It's like a blob and then, like, a splatter <laughs> I don't even know I mean I could have grabbed these systems just to make our empire look better on the map but yeah I mean this is a pretty bad choke point for our empire but hopefully we won't have to defend it too well and if we do well we're already building a habitat here add some fortresses add some uh, add some guns and defensive platforms and yeah maybe we'll hold it I don't know I guess when we figure out the Beth aliens, I will I will give back to you. These fellows are at war again, and it is a war of subjugation this time, it seems like. These guys actually want to not... Well, maybe they do want to take these claims and then subjugate the rest? Wait, what are their claims again? Okay, so they want to subjugate this world and these two worlds and take this world and these systems 
That is a very strange <laughs> war goal for our for our, for, our, for our friend here, but alright, I mean, alright, I guess. But who cares about that? We are on our way of becoming the ultimate Gigacorp, which I know I'm going to name this video probably, the ultimate Gigacorp. It just fits with my <laughs> naming scheme, but yeah, with the marketplace of ideas and, uh, you know, our capital being pretty much fully a temple at this point. I mean, I have not built anything on this capital except one hollow theater and then priest jobs and then the the corporate thing that increases the priest job thing. We, we've been pretty... In fact, wait. Yeah, we don't... I could actually replace this with another church. And the funny thing is, like, I don't need anything else really. I mean, I could do the civilian industries, but we're making so much money and making so much of everything else. Like, even if we're in the negatives... Like, we can supplement it, and even if we don't supplement it, for a while we'll have it. We're at 9k, so, yeah, I think we'll just do that, and then, yeah. Yeah, I don't see an issue with turning this into a, a temple here. We still even have building slots available as well, so we have plenty of work for our, our little guys to do. Plenty of spiritualism. We are becoming the ultimate Gigacorp, and we are soon able to get this. I mean, we are at what here? We are at our third thing. So as soon as we finish up this tree, which should be pretty quick considering we don't have a huge empire. We, we only have two planets and uh, not two. I mean, we have a good amount of systems to be honest and we're going to have more. But um, yeah, our empire is not too big. It should be fine. Plus, plus 10 from branch offices though. That is kind of rough. I do have a lot of branch offices. But it should be fine. It should be fine. We should get this unity done and start ascending. I'm pretty sure I can ascend this planet, right? Um, you must have ascension tier... Uh, three ascension perks to reach ascension tier 1. Okay, so I can't. Interesting. So you need three minimum to ascend to tier 1, even. Okay. Oh, ascending a planet reduces its, its effect on empire size minus 6%. I didn't even know it did that. And it increases the effects of planetary designation by 31%. I knew it did that. Okay. And of course, we're getting an extra 25% from Gigacorp. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it uh, reduced your empire size. I did not know that at all, actually. Hmm. That'll be, uh, that'll be very helpful. It seems like... It seems like grabbing Gigacorp is probably not the move when it comes to setting up your empire. I mean, it does give you plus one free attention, or I mean, attention, ascension tier at the start of the game. But um, other than that, I mean, I guess the monthly unity guy is, is also pretty good, but you could definitely have a better counselor. I don't know. I mean, we're obviously going to do it for this playthrough as that's the whole point, but, um, <laughs> you know. I, th I, think, I feel like in a regular playthrough, you might want to take it later. I mean, by the time you get three Ascension perks, you might even have the Civics technology anyway. Depending on how you're playing your Empire. Maybe not, though. I, I am I am going pretty heavily into traditions, and I'm still not having to... Okay. They're just they're a subsidiary? Wait. So they're giving System us their money now. Wait. Okay, so they just... They just started giving us money. Well, fellas, I mean, if you want to, <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue with you if you do that. Sure. Sounds good to me. They're like, no, we're, we're not a protectorate anymore. We need to give you money. I'm like, okay. S all right. Sounds good. Uh, these guys are receptive, actually. Interesting. Maybe they're even xenophiles. Who knows? I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah. What are you doing? surveying this. This is not... Well, I guess there's nothing else to really survey too much. Are you the... Okay. You know what? I'm going to do... I'm going to do this. You are the archaeologist. Let's start figuring out these sites here. And you... You can continue his mission. Oh, we have a free scientist as well. Okay, so we'll get this person... Yeah, we'll get this person to start researching um, anomalies. I think that's best. 
Actually, they're the best at surveying, but we only have two systems to survey, so it's not really important. Leveling him up as the uh, fleet order cancelled. Okay, yeah, we don't have too much influence. That's fair. Let's just build up the system. This is another really nice system here, especially for mining if we need it. We have, a, we have, we have some good mining systems, to be honest. This one, this one as well. And this one that we already have in Golden Pursuit. We have uh, we have six there, and then another three here if we need it. Ready to go. Districts, I mean, so. Yeah. So, I just need to find the, the planets, or the systems that have a bunch of planets, so I can set up a bunch of orbitals, so they can have a bunch of uh, districts. And then we can set up trade stations, and probably an industrial station or two. And then we're probably good to just stay there and build tall and keep ascending them. Yeah. So it looks like we have competition that's friendly with the Federation, which is not good at all. In fact, it's just really not good at all. Um, have they established... We might have to start sniping these branch offices just to make sure that in the end game we'll have them. Which, again, is not at all what I wanted to do. Would these guys trade me communications? I'm sure they would. Yes. Oh, and minus eight, though. Okay. Well, you very val very much value your communications, I guess. Uh, yeah, t sure. Take the thousand energy credits. Show me show me what you got. Alright. Those guys. Oh, wait. We just... We just did these guys, huh? Okay. Alright, well, we'll be nice to them, I guess. This is... Is this the trade? Wait, no, this is a trade league. Wait, trade league is not a mega corporation, right? Oh, it is. Hmm. Mildred trade league. Okay. Well, that's not good. Oh, and another mega corp. Oh man. Oh, materialist mega corp. Oh no, bros. We cannot. We cannot do this. The spirits do not look favorably on this meeting. Not at all. Oh man, there's a materialist megacorp we're competing with? That is so not good. We can now use the hostile takeover against the Bryle Corporation. And we might. I mean, if we can do this, even as pacifists. So as pacifists, we can do a hostile takeover. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not sure how much sense that makes, lore-wise. I mean... Yeah, I guess, I guess as pacifists, we're not really... I mean, we don't want to conquer anything. But, like... I don't know, we were kind of there first. I'll, I'll have to... I'll have to contemplate whether... Gameplay-wise and... You know, roleplay-wise, it really makes sense for us to do that, but... Yeah, is this a good planet? This is a good planet. We gotta... We gotta claim this one first. First and foremost here. Um... Yeah, we'll do a commercial forum as well. And then, any other good planets here? 17 size world. I'm guessing this is eventually going to be a good planet. Is it the same? Okay, no, never mind. It's This is ocean world, and they have... This is a desert world. Yeah, no, these guys these guys are not. This this planet is doomed to be in, uh, in a bad way for a while. What about these? What about this planet? 35% happiness. Habitability 65. Hmm. Interesting. This planet's looking like it's doing a little better. I guess I'll... Oh, I can't. Oh, man. I really didn't want to do a, like, Megacorp scramble, but... Here we are. Oh, and here's the Custodian Matrix. Nice. So we have a, a nice guy fallen empire for a change. That's good. So yeah, it looks like there's a lot of competition in the galaxy. And there's a materialist megacorp with fanatic xenophile. Oh man. Military subsidiary acquisition. The spirits have granted Wait, they're trying to subjugate the the other megacorp? Interesting. Construction complete. Hmm, a megacorp trying to subjugate a megacorp. Anomaly found. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess I guess we'll see what happens. Oh man, this planet's getting invaded, huh? Can we not build anything because the planet's getting invaded? Oh, okay. This is the planet they wanted, by the way, which is why I claimed it really quick. Um, I don't think I'm going to be losing out complete. on on any rights to these planets here because, yeah, this these guys are literally like honor bound warrior spiritualists. So I don't think they'll side with the <laughs> the far away mega corpse that aren't that are materialists. Hopefully they don't. Oh, this is a 36 tile population world, man. Hmm. I might have to, uh, yeah, I might have to do this, actually. <laughs> and these guys would have been really strong if they didn't lose their capital so early on. Hmm, what a shame. What do we go for here? I guess we'll go public relations for him, sure. And let's see. Scrap the mega computer for parts, boost our research. Nah, we will we will let it continue its calculations and it gives us unity, which is always good for us Gigacorp enjoyers. Trade districts. We'll just do trade value for now, but this is definitely more useful and will will come into play later. Well, it seems like the madman finally did it. <laughs> He's consolidated power and uh yeah, the kingdoms are, are fighting. That's really unfortunate. Uh, we have to remove Situation him. Uh, we don't. We don't updated. have a choice. There's just no. There's no way he can get updated. away with this nonsense. This absolute nonsense. So, I guess we'll train our armies here. It's closer. We don't have any armies yet. Assault armies, anyway, as we don't really need them at all. To be honest, I mean, what do we need? What do we need assault armies for? Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, high awareness they have now, which is good. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I mean that's, that's probably the only good thing that's going to come of this. Um, although these guys are probably going to be very, <laughs> very, very unfortunate when uh, we go and steal away their god uh, that, they <laughs> that they think they have. Um... Yeah, we're not gonna steal their resources. What? We don't. We don't need their resources. We we were just full up on money. I, I had to buy. What Incoming did I even buy? I think consumer goods or something. We were also full up on food too, and we only have one farm in the entire <laughs> entire. No, we don't need it. Yeah, we only have one farm in the entire empire. In fact, we might have zero farms here soon because we don't really need them. Yeah. I'm thinking we have zero farms here soon, so. <laughs> Yeah, we just have a, a lot of farms from, a lot of food, sorry, from our star bases, which is very, very, very helpful. Complete. Very helpful indeed. Where is our armies at? Our assault armies we absolutely will never use again. In fact, I'll probably disband them on the spot. But uh, yeah, we, we got to get rid of that scientist. Come on. In fact, you know what? You can head the mission. Go ahead. Go. Do it. Do something. This guy has been System pretty useless since he joined. Complete. Although not much for him to do in a pacifist empire, to be fair. Okay, we're almost done with this, which means we're almost to our third ascension perk. Um, I guess we can do this. We can do that now. Uh, we we will study it. We're not going to war updated. with the stupid creature thing. I guess we'll buy minerals as well since I mean we have max money. We might as well do something with it. Yeah, just go do whatever, I guess, sir. Sure, why not? So now two of these worlds are being invaded. Yeah, these guys are just getting their butt kicked. And unfortunately, these guys have yeah, they've offered federation association with with the materialists. Oh wait, they're Oh, these are the materialists. These are, these are the other guys that the materialists are invading, right? I'm pretty sure. Construction yeah. complete. The offensive war. The materialists are invading the other guys. Yeah. Oh, we have another um, guy. Will this be? Will this guy be similarly useless? What are you? What are you even? Are you an official? Okay. All right. Unity from jobs. Monthly unity. Whoa! This guy is not useless. 
Resources from psionic pops? No, this guy's not useless. What? Sir, welcome aboard, sir. In fact, you know what? We have a perfect... I will teach those who will listen. And listen to those who teach. Um, I don't know why we don't have a governor. <laughs> but, uh... But, yeah. Let's get, let's get this guy to live longer. We definitely want him to live longer. In fact, this guy is just getting promoted after promoted because... Yeah, this... This guy, oh, we can only have a researcher in charge of our research. I guess that makes sense. Can we? No. Okay. Guess it's that guy. Um, the <laughs> minister of defense is just an embezzler and nothing else. That's wild. That's wild. Oh wait, his dad. Oh wait, you have to be a counselor. I thought that was a planet trait. Oh my. Wait, plus five. Wait, suppression across the entire empire. Hold up, that's really good. Wow. Interesting. Okay. You know, I, I said this guy was useful or useless, and actually I'm useless. Because I'm just dumb. Construction complete. Interesting. Well, we need another council position. ASAP. When are we getting that, anyway? Unavailable. Wait. Where is our... We can't get another council position? What? Do we need to research that or something? Maybe we need to research that or something. I don't know why we can't get another council position unless something is going terribly wrong here somewhere. Um, let's see. Where is expand the council? No, it's not here. Am I? Am I blind? Oh, where is expand the council? Wait. I don't, I don't know where expand the council is, but um Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Uh Grand Theft Planet. Yeah, just um yeah, do we really want to know? Honestly, do we? Like do like honestly though, do we? I guess I guess we do. I guess we do. Um, yeah, that's another thing for you to explore. Sure. Do do this. And then go do whatever else. Oh, I forgot to press shift. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up everything. I'm, ju I'm just, I'm still about the council thing. I'm just like, what the hell? I don't understand. Uh, death of a great leader. Oh, our, our pontiff died. Our golden pontiff. Alright, well, let's name a landmark. <laughs> News of the leader's passing is met with a sharp, brief turn down <laughs> in uh, a downturn in shock value or er, share value. Jeez, I can't speak today. Yeah, cut the ribbon. We need some trade value. And this guy, I think he might just be our new president, or at least one of these guys. Actually, this guy has equal skill level, and he's actually a chef. So I don't know. As long as any of these guys win, except the scientist, I'd be happy. Please don't let the scientist win, please. Okay. Well, we have this guy who's questionable looking as our president, which, yeah, he, sh he sure really got promoted a l very quickly. Um, Commander, this guy... Well, you're never going to be on a planet like that, but all right. Uh, and then we found the Dacha system, which, you know, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, how How is our armies doing, though? That's, that's kind of the whole point of all of this. Tow it for trash disposal. Yeah, yeah. Tow it, tow it to disposal. The spirits have granted come on, us new wisdom. Come on. Okay, successful extraction. Yeah, a futile attempt to protect their god. Well, are they not aware now? Construction High awareness. Complete. We cannot reveal ourselves at this time. Okay. Have a night, unify, unified worlds. Yes, we know. We know uh, why those planets were stolen. Or at least I know. You might not know. Depending on how much you play Solaris. But I'm pretty sure they're like a guaranteed spawn. So it's a good chance you've ran into this. Maybe it's not a guaranteed spawn, but it's always in my galaxies. 
But yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure these guys are gonna like contact us soon and be like the You, have you killed our god. World. I'm upset. And I'm gonna be like that was that was not your god, dude. Also we have our we have our third station here, the Golden Aspiration, and it is going to be a commercial station. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe a mix between commercial and industrial. I haven't quite decided yet. But uh, definitely at least commercial. So. Shuttle crash. Um. <laughs> a lucky missile hit. Okay. Situation okay, yeah, we're, we're exposed after that one for sure. We would like to continue the service. Okay. Um, divine greetings upon your world. Or we hope to build a profitable relationship with you. Well, both of those. Um. We've been waiting for you to initiate contact for so long. Yeah, we um, yeah, you, we made the first move. Yeah, you taking a missile to our ships is is the first move. But yeah, sure. First alien encounter. Well, this is definitely not our first alien encounter. So what? Okay. Um. Anyway, finally we can we can talk to these people. Okay. Instead of spying on them, you can now just just have a normal conversation with the with the gentleman there and hopefully we can get them to accept societal guidance and a commercial pact as we want both of those things uh, our policies do not allow open enlightenment I don't see why not what is the open enlightenment policy what, what is the policy where you can just go to a system and just <laughs> just introduce yourselves and give them tech What what is that aggressive interference I guess so can reveal our presence, can invade free FTLs, can target FTLs, or is it... So it has to be aggressive interference, huh? Interesting. Council agenda available. Well, I guess we won't get the event where they're like, oh, you killed our god. Why did you do that? They definitely weren't a scientist pretending to be a god to live some power fantasy or anything. Certainly not. All right, here we are. So, insider trading, which means we finally have the third, the third ascension perk. Which, man, I don't know if we want to go mind over matter or go consecrated worlds right now. I think we might go consecrated worlds. I don't have like, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know about mind over matter right now. I think it's a little too early for that. So I think I'll go consecrated worlds and start on that. I know it's not the greatest civic ever, but it's just, it works perfectly for our empire, so we're gonna do it. Here we go. And consecrate world. Okay, so we need to wait for some unity. All right, shouldn't be an issue. Somebody's more xenophilic, interesting. Interesting, interesting. This is the biggest world in our system, so Systems if any world has a chance complete. of being like really holy, then uh, it's this one respected world okay well that's not like the best but it definitely could be worse and then what's another big world um this one's like 15 tiles it should be good enough i guess just respected okay all right can't win them all can't win them all definitely want a temple of prosperity there was not a temple of prosperity in this world already interesting and I guess we want this is already a spiritualist world so I guess we'll just do public relations complete. forum we need as much unity as possible to become the ultimate gigacorp but now most importantly we can finally upgrade ascension tiers so that's another reason I didn't pick uh, whatever it's called the flesh is, or sorry <laughs> mind over matter because I wanted to start ascending our planets instead of going into uh more traditions just to see just to see if that's a good strategy really more than anything so yeah that's what we're gonna do oh more buildings I guess these guys just developed uh, tech to upgrade their buildings let's do a commercial forum close their borders to us okay interesting Oh, they're fanatic xenophobes? Wait, oh, oh, this is a purification committee. These guys, these guys' flag had me confused. Wait, wait. 
No, I was right. I, I was right. These guys are <laughs> the corporation. What? Hold on. What? What? Fanatic xenophobe militarist purification committee? What? <laughs> what? Uh, wait. I'm sorry. How did this happen? Well, first of all, yay. Less competition. Um like less mega corpse amazing but did these guys these guys invaded them so hard they became fanatic purifiers <laughs> what i've never seen i don't know if i've ever seen this they just changed up everything what i don't even know what happened uh, do they have a fear of the dark thing i don't i don't think so that's definitely not the fear of the dark system so i don't know they just went fanatic purifiers interesting well yeah we'll we'll declare them rivalry i mean they're they're freaking well, maybe they're not fanatic purifiers, but they're purifiers, for sure. I think they are fanatic purifiers, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know, but they're they're no longer Megacorp, which is, which is great news. Maybe if these guys could just collapse into some despotic regime as well, that would, that would be excellent. No, we are not doing an embassy with you. Absolutely not. You are our prime rivals. In fact, I may even break our pacifistic ideals just to go to war with you and you alone. So if that if that gives you an idea of how good friends we are, how, how good of friends we are, then uh, then yeah. <laughs> our minister of state, which was actually a really good politician by the way, <laughs> transcended to a higher plane. So does that mean he? No, he retired. Yeah, leader retired. He so he actually transcended to a higher plane. I I can only really respect that, I guess. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, we don't have any Shep leaders available, apparently. So, do we really want a human leader? I guess we could take a human leader. Hmm. Maybe, wait. Can the Chief Ascension Officer be something other? No. It has to be an official. Okay, I guess we I guess we need a new official. So Falatria, maybe you'd be good. Well, you're you're an egalitarian though. I don't I don't want egalitarian ethics attraction. Uh, all right, maybe just for now. Every citizen deserves a voice. No, they don't. I mean, not really. Like, maybe a little bit of a voice, perhaps, you know, but not like too much, not too much of a voice. I'll put her on here for the trade focus thing. I, I specifically picked her for trade focus. Complete. Hopefully, uh, we're already making more than enough money than we need, but uh, she will be helping us make more money and also more unity as we are going for the ultimate Gigacorp <laughs> title here and... Uh, we have our trade thing, the marketplace of ideas. 0.25 unity. Not too much, but I wonder how much unity we get from trade. Um, we get 68 unity from trade. And we get, okay, so we get like 447 overall. So we don't get too much unity from trade, actually. I mean, 68 is a good amount. Don't get me wrong at all, but uh, it's certainly nothing to be crazy about. We will do a church on this. We need at least one church on this planet. Come on. Who are we? I mean, this is the golden aspiration overall. Uh, er, anyway. I guess we also need a church on this planet. So we'll just build up all the mining districts. And build a church as well. This planet has plenty of churches though. In fact, it's mostly churches. And it's also a habitat, not a planet. So there's how world war happening on... On Gossack which we are directly involved with like we, we we are in communications with them trying to set up uh, like agreements with them so yeah i don't how do we how do we improve relations beyond just like sitting here and improving relations plan advanced indoctrinate society I guess I could try indoctrinating society we'll do that later but yeah we we have a world war on our hands and uh yeah, I don't, I don't really know if we just aid leader or aid rebels. I mean, we don't want them to be authoritarian or egalitarian. 
really. I mean, I guess we'll, like, not get involved? I mean, we don't want to spend all this on, on doing something, unless, like, maybe they'll be, you know, one of the sides who win will be grateful in the end and, like, want to sign our deals. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we just watch and learn. But it's funny how we could, like, <laughs> we we have diplomatic relations with these nations, I, I assume, of all these different splintered nations. So, yeah, it's an interesting thing. I mean, I definitely could afford it. It wouldn't hurt at all. Actually, eight rebels, that's actually, that actually hurt a little bit. But do we want them to go more egalitarian, though? I mean, I guess it couldn't hurt. Hmm. You know what? Actually, uh, hmm. You know what? We're going to aid the rebels. We're going to aid the rebels mainly for the fact that, like, I want to see what happens. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they'll be... I don't know, grateful in the end and sign our pact? Maybe that's wishful thinking, but we'll aid the rebels and possibly they could grow out of their militarism and just go fanatic egalitarian, which isn't a bad... Died in a shuttle accident. Why are our leaders dying in like comically stupid ways? Alright, I mean, sure. <laughs> no matter how formidable the enemy, our spirit will not falter. I hope not. I hope we're not fighting any enemy either, because our pacifist run is going pretty well so far. The Incoming only people who could even declare war on us right now are these guys who we don't know how powerful they are. This is outdated information, so they're very hostile, which makes sense. They are our rivals as well. Yeah, I guess we'll, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If they attack us, we have... Okay, we actually need to continue to upgrade this station, actually. It's a good thing I looked at this. And do that. And this. Yes. Fine. No, we don't need a defensive pact. No, we don't. These guys... Oh, okay. They are willing to do a commercial pact. Finally. Finally. Yes, I think, I think that's all we need from you. I mean, research agreement would be okay. Actually, yeah, we'll do a research agreement as well. All right, let's get your capital. Please don't have a branch office. They don't. Awesome. Awesome. And Temple of Prosperity first and foremost. If we can get these guys on side, that will be amazing. And this seems like their second most important planet, so let's do... Ah, eh, we can do another temple. Why not? And then what's their third most important planet? This one? Okay, we're lacking 48, but I think that's their next Im most important, so. I should have looked at the thing where it offers commercial deal. I'm not used to that at all. Um, we can upgrade our tradition, but wait. Wait a second, why should we do that when we can... No, we can't. How much... Maximum ascension tier is 1. Gain more ascension perks to increase the maximum. Wait. Unlocking all ascension perks increases the planetary ascension cap by an additional four. Oh. Interesting. So you get one per ascension perk after three. Or no, at three. So you get one at three. And then I'm guessing two at four. Three at five. Okay. Well, I guess I could do these. This is a mining station for sure. And, yeah, let's ascend it. Sure. There we go. And this is going to be a trade station. And let's ascend it. Alright. So, trade value plus 26.25%. Yeah, that's going to be... We're going to be in the money. Where? Okay. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be in the money. And what, is, what does it do overall for us? With the ascension perk? I mean, we've had this ascended for a while. So stability point six point five, amenities, governing ethics attraction, automatic resettlement chance, resource from jobs. Hmm. Interesting. And then plus thirteen point twelve percent 
mining resource output just in general. Hmm, okay. How's our civil war going? Increase our aid to the rebels. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait, we don't, do we have enough money to do that? I mean, I guess we can bankrupt ourselves funding the rebels. For the rebels, the future appears grim. Under the inspired leadership of whatever the hell, pro-unification forces have seized power in the planet's centers. Unity is imposed with an iron fist. Any dissent is swiftly crushed. Oh, no. All right, well, I mean... Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just keep increasing aid at the risk of us going into debt. The spirits have granted us new <laughs> Why <wisdom>? not? <laughs> I mean, that's what uh, that's what world leaders do in the real world. We'll we'll just we'll just support the rebels until we're in debt. Sure. Why not? Having witnessed the apparent rapture of their savior, the inhabitants of Gazak are not in the good place. Well, you can say that again. Society is splintering. Tensions have risen to untenable levels. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Shifts ethics towards fanatic spiritualists? Whoa. Wait, no, we definitely want to do that. Oh, they do it anyway. If we do not take action, this technology will be used to tear themselves apart in a planet-wide <laughs> religious war. Well, let's go get our technology. Um... Yeah, let's just go do that. Let's see, military pioneer. I guess we can, yeah, we'll keep this guy doing what he does best, stopping crime. Um, so how do we retrieve our technology again? We have so much nonsense to do. Um, is there something we have to do or is it just, okay, well, maybe it'll just happen. Situation log sure. updated. So I, I legitimately do not have <laughs> the the resources to continue our logistical support of yeah the instability of the rebels, the instability caused by the corrupt and ineffectual local leaders on Gossek has galvanized the public around the support of the rebels' cause. Okay, uh, planet's major urban cities, whatever his name is, has ordered their troops to carry out a series of brutal street-by-street street incursions to weed out the resistance uh, well we literally can't afford to do that so I'm just gonna say unfortunate <laughs> physicists on Gossack have managed to split the atom well that's that's not good they suddenly possess the mean to destroy their own world well their own world is already at 59% devastation so yeah that's not that's not good at all these guys are rapidly increasing their technology which is not good Okay, let's see. Given the failure of any one group to seize control of Gossack, the planet has descended into chaos. <laughs> Local warlords fight for power, and increasingly radical social movements spring up overnight as the planet continues their greatest upheaval in its history. Peace remains a distant dream. Begin arming rebel forces. <laughs> Uh, providing advanced weaponry will increase the chances of successful outcome by a significant percentage. Well, we're definitely going to invest more into the uh, the rebels. Why not? I mean, they seem to be doing a complete. good job so far. Three nights ago, Chief reported having a disturbing vision and a shut away in his quarters. They believe the source to be whatever is down here. Oh. Our I've never seen this before. That's, that's a cool picture, actually. Interesting. And we're full up on money again. Well, I guess we can buy more consumer goods and alloys, as we are currently negative on them for <laughs> supporting the rebels. Luckily, we're rich enough that that really doesn't Incoming matter. Transmission. But, uh, yeah. We can learn two and share five. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Wait. Uh, made peace. The attackers... So they took the planet, but they didn't manage to make them vassals. Interesting. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. So, oh, now they have... Oh, they didn't even manage to take this world? I thought they did. Did these guys push them back? Interesting. Well, I don't know how these guys failed their war so bad. They're equivalent to me when these guys are... Oh, also equivalent to me, all right. But their allies... Oh, you're, you're superior to me? Oh, oh, oh my. You I might want to do a research agreement with. 
Actually, hmm. Still can't join their federation. I'm sure with some, you know, diplomatic, you know, negotiation, I probably could, but that's not really important. Um, wait, they subjugated the corporation? Wait, I don't want you to do that, though. Wait, no, wait, wait, no, the federation? Oh, <laughs> No. Wait, this this is wait, this little pop up that I thought was just inconsequential. No, it really it means that these guys are basically part of the Federation now. An attack on these guys would be an attack on the Federation. Yeah, we must end we can't even attack them because we have Federation Association status. No. No. Oh no. Oh. This is awful news. This is just absolutely awful news. I bet they've probably taken more of their worlds as well. No. I mean, this world is, like, useless. What about this world? Similarly useless. Hmm. Is there any worlds that, like, provide good trade value? I mean, I'm sure this world will probably be good one day. You can just kind of tell. Yeah, this this world will be good one day. <gasps> what? They, oh, the, the bastards. The bastards took it. Oh. <sighs> New World Order. In a stunning turn of events, uh, I'm guessing this is the dictator, Raul Vabir, has been disposed. Arming themselves with several opportunistic generals within the regime, rebel forces have succeedingly launched a coordinated, or succeeded in launching a coordinated planet-wide attack. Before the pro-unification's new, uh, commanders knew what was happening, their positions were overwhelmed. Okay. Paraded in chains through the streets of the capital, Raul Vabir was quickly executed. The victorious rebels have granted the planet's regions the authority to dictate their own affairs. After years of war, a tremendous peace has occurred. Okay, hold on. Hold on. The rebels actually won. Unta unfettered flags. 15% happiness. Egalitarian attractiveness. Monthly unity. Shifts its ethics towards egalitarian. Fanatic egalitarian ethics gained. Wait. Hopefully they're spir still spiritualists, though. Okay, they are. Okay. So, egalitarian militarist spiritualist. That's not bad. We'll, we'll take that. Yeah. Alright, so I don't think we really... Okay, so... What? Are these guys gonna... I guess we just have complete. to keep improving their opinion. And eventually they'll give in. Council agenda I don't know. Available. How are we supposed to do this? Well, I guess it's slowly increasing. No, no, it's not. These guys literally cannot stop. Cannot stop trying to tear themselves apart. I, I, I thought this playthrough was going to be about, you know, unity and trade and all this. But no, it's about babysitting these guys to potentially get a trade deal. Which wouldn't even, like, benefit all this. <laughs> benefit us all that much. <laughs> They're they're trying to go to nuclear war with each other. No. No. Infiltrate and de-escalate if you, we can. Please. Oh my god. Stop for a second. And we're having more trouble with this starship, dude. Uh, just... I don't know. Disable the guns. I don't know. Just figure it out. Man, these guys are useless. <laughs> so useless. Oh so, this little empire over here in Deneb, which is funny because <laughs> that's the lost colony that starts in Deneb. Anyway, this little empire here, the Red Thori Confederation, are definitely a a lost colony of the people who spawned next to us, the Advanced Start, the Galactic Red Thori Regime, because they are the same species. I mean, look at them. Red Thori, Agrarian, Natural Engineers, Nomadic. Let's see. Let's see what this Red Thori are. I mean, they're even in Deneb, so I mean, come on. Uh, agrarian, Natural Engineers, Nomadic, yeah. These are the same guys. This was the uh, Lost Start, or no, Lost... Lost something. What, what, what is it? Lost... Lost Colony, yeah. Lost Colony, which is like the Commonwealth of Man. And this is actually the Commonwealth of Man home system, I mean, as you, as you might know. It is Deneb. So yeah. Uh, well, they're currently losing their home system in a war as well, which isn't good. But yeah, this is why this is why these guys were an advanced start. It's because this empire picked uh, Lost Colony. And interestingly, 
it it uh I didn't I didn't know it could do that. This is why I'm saying interestingly, but it at it confirms my suspicions that this was in fact a advanced start and it's it's nice to be validated that this is confirmed like an advanced start cuz this is definitely a lost colony. They're the same species. So, yeah. I was right. Yay. Um, oh, this timer. I don't I don't see why I don't see why we would destroy it. Just just leave it. Construction complete. Well, this war is over and we always have a one border gore section of our uh our galaxy here and it seems like these guys the United Nor Norlagen, whatever, hegemony, hierarchy, whatever. They seem to have uh, smashed the Red Thori lost colony into bits and created this mess here. Incoming this absolute mess. Including the Caravaneers. Which we have so many caravan, caravan coins. Let's just do that. And get nothing. I mean, alright. Um, the Brill Corporation. What well, now? No. No. No, we're not friends. No, we are not friends. You are taking more and more of my spots all the time. They took this as well. They took this and this. Or Sorry, this. I'm pretty sure they took this, right? Yeah, they took that. They just take everything. So, no, we're not friends. We will not be having an embassy. No. No. Well, it seems like they officially invited us to their federation. And I don't, I legitimately don't know if I should join. I mean, we'll be an equal member, unlike the, uh, the Brill. But, um, you know, I don't know, it's a research cooperative, it's not like... I guess it, I guess it helps us defend ourselves and be pacifists, but these guys are fanatic mi militarists. And so are these guys, these are militarists too. Yeah, these are, these guys are also fanatic militarists, so... We'd be going to war a lot. And my National Peace Coalition would be very sad about it. Very sad. I don't really want to go to war a lot, but I also... I also think joining this research cooperative would help us a lot, as we are... We, we only have this. Zero-G Research District, and that's that's it when it comes to our Empire's research and development. I am currently building a station I turned to, I plan on turning entirely into research here, um, Habitat Central Complex, and I have another station being built here in, uh, in Mira, where I hope to make it a industrial station, because we are definitely lacking in those areas as well, and after that, I'm not sure many more stations will be made anytime soon. And I also turned this starbase into the shipyard as it's going to have, what's it called, um, the industrial habitat here. So it makes sense that the shipyard is right next to the industrial habitat. And also I wanted to turn this into a trade hub as well. So um, we should probably turn this into crew quarters. Actually it doesn't really matter. I'd rather have the food than the discount. Um, oh, we finally finished. Oh, no, this is a different one. Okay. We got advanced shields. That's good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Star Science Pact. I don't know. I mean, even the name is... Is... is <sighs> it's materialist. Uh. I mean, this guy... I mean, look at, look at the ethics. Fanatic, militarist, materialist. And look at our ethics. It just doesn't make sense to do so. I might join later again, but free and automatic research agreements. Yeah, it's nice and all, but I don't know. I may join later. I may not. I just can't. I just can't justify joining it now because we'll just be unhappy. Like we'll, we'll just not be. We'll just not be happy Situation together. Situation log updated. And we are definitely going to promote one of our worlds. So, yes, here we go. We are going to promote this world. It seems whenever I promote a a world that oh wait only eight pops oh no but we have so much trade oh we have the same amount of trade okay never mind we're promoting our capital let's go I was gonna say whenever I it feels like whenever I promote a world that isn't my capital the game just does not want to give it to me which shouldn't be too much of a problem as 
I just promoted my capital. Anyway, and we have 155 trade. We're a mega corp. I mean, we're gonna boost the nomination when we can. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but we're gonna boost it when we can. Uh, Democratic Human League is now a subsidiary again. Okay, they want to pay us money again, which is uh, totally Situation fine and updating. dandy with me. But hopefully we win this. I mean, it would be so nice. We're always trading away our money because we just we have too Council many, agenda, too many ready. monies. Inner stability. Complete. We still don't have. Yeah, we still don't have. Expand the council. But uh. Yeah. I guess maybe that comes with our next civic slot. We even have a human on the on the council. I did not know that. Are you the best person for the job? You are. All right. Well, human on the council. Interesting. Let's let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do favorite society. These guys will finally accept my agreement in the atomic age. 97% progress to the next age. Man, these guys are going to be in space soon, but I finally got them to agree. Yes, we will share our way of thinking. You wish to teach us your ways? Yes, I do. Greetings, yes. You want to co cooperate commercially? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Alright. We did it. Finally. And they didn't even <laughs> blow each other dis we they didn't even blow each other to smithereens. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. They didn't blow each other to smithereens. Jeez. Um, alright. Research. Oh, we're surveying their complete. system? Oh no, we're doing anomalies in their system. Right, right, right. Alright, our shipyard Special is complete, complete. Which is good. Um, we can reinforce our fleet now. Just spend the money. I mean, we don't really have an issue when it comes to naval capacity or money, for that matter. So, might as well just build up our fleet to deter any would-be attackers. As that is our main goal. Okay, here we go. Our edict fund was just increased by 50. Let's let's go ahead and spend that before I, before I do what comes next. Um, I guess we could do... Ooh, we don't even really have much to do. We don't really need any of this. Hmm. I guess we could do fortify the border. But even that is like... Mm. I guess I'll wait until we get something that we need. No point in doing it now. But uh, I think we're going to go mind over matter this time. Yeah, there's there's really no question. So let's do that. The and then the next thing we'll, we'll take is... Uh, is all the different mind over matter perks and as soon as we can we'll also uh, we'll also upgrade let's see how much it costs 3950 oh we'll get that in no time actually interesting our efforts to shift the Pakarian Pakarian civilization has resulted in favorable results let's go oh we made the pacifist complete. <gasps> we made them pacifists instead of militarists. Oh, that's awesome. Complete. Let's go. Oh, they're in the early space age now too. Ooh. Wow. They are they are coming up. And I'm not 100% sure if I want to let them go. This is our holy world. It's not a very good one, to be honest. It's only a respected world. I did r manage to re-roll this one and get it into venerated. So. Special project complete. Okay, good. Yeah, in like a month we'll have we'll have it ready. Maybe two months. Oh no, 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 a month. Okay, here we go. Now we can do this. So look, let's look at our production here. Two hundred seventy-six unity and all that other stuff. Situation all right, let's see what updated. let's let's see what it turns into now. Two hundred seventy-nine. Not too much. I gotta say, I'm not impressed. I'm just not, I'm not impressed actually. Land grabs. Concerning economic reports from Gossack, where our merchants have been trading 
with the uh, unenlightened civilization. When the deal was signed, the measures were put into place. It's the sovereignty of the locals. But some of our own people are skirting the law to buy up vast qual quantities of land through local straw men. Oh no. At this crate, within a generation, Gossack will be wholly owned by private traders. Um. Interesting. Wait. Re adds remote holding to Golden Endeavor plus one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go. We get, oh, okay, is that like a feature of the planet? Somewhere? Oh yeah, remote holdings. That's an interesting picture for it. These parcels of land have been acquired from the indigenous population and are now managed from orbit. Oh my. That is actually awesome. Okay, well I guess we'll... I guess we'll do this. Hopefully we'll get the last building slot. That is that is very funny. <laughs> I did not know we could do that. That's awesome. And it has its own like custom flavor text and picture. I don't think I don't recognize that picture. So yeah. That's awesome. Um I guess it's finally time to do this. I mean, do we really need anything else really like importantly? Not really. Yeah, I think it's time to do the habitat expansion finally. It's been a research since the beginning of the game, and I've always wanted it. We also bought the renowned scientist from the from the Enclave. And it was only a matter of time. Hello, we are feeling ready to explore the cosmos, and we wish to do so on our own. Oh man. As much as I don't want these guys having their system, I just... I, there's no other option, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no other option. I'm gonna, I'm gonna un, I'm gonna unconsecrate this world, and I guess get ready to give up this system. Yeah. All right, fine. You can our have it. Have been improved. You definitely gotta be our vassal, though. There's, there's no way. You gotta be our vassal. Limbo, um, let dead aliens lie. I do our not. Our ships I do not. have been improved. I do not care. Um, offer migration treaty. Propose subjugation. Form federation. They would form a federation with us. Uh, let's do a commercial pact immediately, obviously. And set up our newest holding here. Incoming transmission. Yeah, for sure. Let's get the... Well, they're already spiritualists, so let's get the commercial form going. They want a migration pact. No. Not with us. Maybe someone else. Sure. So, yeah, we need these guys to get Incoming up to... Transmission. Up to excellent relations. Maybe... Alright, sure. If that'll help you get up to excellent relations, then why not? Maybe we'll also give you some money. You like money, right? Yeah, money. We love money. Oh my goodness, do we love money. Come on. All right, I guess I gotta wait a little longer. That's fine. <laughs> this would be absolute charity. All right, well, uh, hopefully we'll get them to be our vassal. If not, that's another big hole in our border, which mm -hmm. I will be very upset about. What happened to our military minister of defense? Oh no! Please don't tell me they got elected. Oh. <laughs> All right, I guess. I mean, it's not the worst guy who could be elected. It's not at all what I wanted, though. You are, like, really good. Oh, man, we're gonna have to... Oh, wait. You can just take this girl's position. She's useless anyway, as a counselor. Okay, that works out excellently, actually. Damn, I picked, I picked some losers with these worlds. Just unstable messes. Oh, and we can do this. Okay, well, let's just buy alloys. There's no reason not to. You have all the money. And make a bigger shipyard. No, I don't want a defensive pact. Alright, fine. We'll have a defensive pact. But you're going to be my vassal soon. You better be my vassal soon. That's all I have to say. Or I might have to come out of retirement just to terror bomb your world. Idle leaders. Yeah, well, I guess... 
I guess you could govern something. I guess you could govern this one. Actually, we can make him the lead governor. Yeah, let's make him lead governor, actually. Yeah, sounds good. And then this guy, the fertility preacher, can preach fertility on this mining world. We have found the Assyrian home system, Iras, and uh, it kind of connects our empires we in a weird way. Faith to a new world. I'm not sure I hate it, but I'm also not sure I like it. I have both of our science ships going there for different the reasons. Have claimed a new world. And I guess, complete. oh, the Mildred Punishers are no longer a thing. Yeah, they had a revolt, and I'm guessing the revolt won. Yeah, they're still xenophobes, but... <laughs> A little bit more spiritualist and authoritarian. They're actually memorialists, so they they honor the dead. Maybe they maybe they honored. Wait, are they honoring the dead of the Xenos that they might have killed in their empire? That is really, really cool. Actually, they they had a, the the fanatic purifiers had a revolt, and the people revolting were the memorialists. Hmm. Okay, that's 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 very interesting. Well, I guess that uh, stops the fanatic purifier threat. They stop themselves, which is interesting enough. Um, you are more of a politician, my friend. I wish I could say you were more, but you're not. Let's get these guys ready and doing that. Um, you are just building a mining station. You can come over here next, and I think I'll take this thing out, just because like. We might as well. We have the influence, and and there's no really reason not to. So yeah, we're gonna go take this thing out. In fact, we'll send these random ships I got from the construction yard event first, and then hopefully they die, and then we can send these ships in. Counselor I don't like wasting available. ships, but Special project yeah. Oh, completes. subjugation request. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, we are too weak to survive in this hostile galaxy. Ha galaxy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, good. We got these guys. And they have two worlds. Interesting. They colonized the other world. They actually have three worlds in their systems, which... Yeah, they might, uh... They might do a good amount. Construction complete. Who knows? Might not be able to keep them down. Okay, so we got the pox, which... I mean, it increased our leader lifespan, which is good. But other than that, it's just not very useful. I mean, we're not going to be orbital pox bombarding people <laughs> anytime soon, I don't think. So, yeah, research speed biology, though. I guess we'll, I guess we'll activate it. We have plenty of unity. We have plenty of unity, by the way. We can't, we can't go psionics because I don't have the tech researched, and I don't really want to do anything else. I already used all of our influence we can to upgrade these guys to habitats, or to ascension tier two, and now we have yeah, we have plus 35% trade value, which is crazy. The trade... Okay, a lot of these things are not very good, especially when it comes to on planets, but the trade station one is, like, really good. So the trade ones can be really good. Like, refinery output plus 15%, like, okay. I mean, how many jobs are you really going to have? Like, maybe across the whole station you'll have a few more of each rare resource, but... 35% trade value that's that's a large amount like that's not a few like metallurgist upkeep like it doesn't even increase the metallurgist like output just the upkeep minus so you know you lose you use less minerals like and as you can see we're already full on minerals so that's not very useful but trade value 35% it's so good it's so good I mean I could always just go into another one and then come back to it but I don't I don't really know what else we even need in this empire. I mean, aptitude is good just because leaders, right? But, like, we don't really need that many leaders. Having more XP would be nice, but I don't even think that does that anymore. No, not really. Actually, it doesn't increase XP at all unless you do a leadership conditioning agenda, which I don't really care about. In fact, this playthrough might, might be better with statecraft, just so we can go through agendas. Effective counselor skill. Actually, you know what? I haven't done statecraft since they reworked it, but I think I might go with statecraft this time. Minus 5% empire size is nice too. Hmm. We might go statecraft. Okay, so if I go statecraft and then I go psionics, because obviously we're going psionics, 
I only have one left. Does that go to supremacy or unyielding? Probably supremacy, just because, like, you can do defense in depth. Unyielding is just not worth it. Yeah, ship, ship fire rate increase in your borders is nice. But that's only when you're in a defensive war. Like, does that doesn't count about the crisis or anything, so... I guess the last things we'll do... I mean, I could do adaptability and just forget leaders entirely this playthrough. Mm, resources from habitat planetary feature plus 50%. Conquer nature. We don't need to conquer nature, though. We live above nature. Habitat alloy upkeep is good. We don't need governors and we don't need housing. We don't need more worker pop. Yeah, I think we're just going to go statecraft and then and then supremacy. And then of course psionics. Council agenda available. Yes. All right, we're surveying this. Where's our ships? The faithful have claimed okay, okay. a new world. Uh, research that. Wait, where are you even surveying a system? Oh, oh, there. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm I'm, I'm silly. Monthly unity, unity, trade. Wow, this guy is too good. I, I need all of these. Um, let's just do unity straight up. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Oh, okay, we'll take that for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess we'll. I guess we'll do this. Or that's a lot, that's a lot of months. We'll do that. Okay, the new ships are going in. All right, soften them up for us. Heretic fleet engaged. Oh. Uh, rip. And we only lost one. That's unfortunate. I wanted to lose all of them. But, you know, we can deal with one. Yeah, we really need those stations. Oh, they're ready. Okay. So, yeah, this is the golden process. This is going to be our our station for all of our industrial needs. And this is Golden Insight, which is going to be an amazing research station one day. Let's just build it up. Yeah, looks good. Anomaly found. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, you guys are ready. Let's go in. Um, we need those minerals now. Add a ring around the planet, or now plus five over time is is better, definitely. But adding a ring around a planet, I've never done that. That's kind of awesome. Is a particular guess, right? Our known, our knowledge of astrophysics tells us the planet should have a ring, yet it doesn't. A closer look. Intriguing moon. The planet is surrounded by... Wait. This moon? Wait, we're going to shatter Arasia? <laughs> Hold on. I might want to shatter Arasia. That would be so funny. Hold on, can we actually do that? Heretic fleet engaged. Oh, it doesn't actually shatter Arasia. It, it shatters some unseen moon. Oh man, that would have been funny. <laughs> we just... We just shattered Arasia. System All right. survey complete. A whole bunch of nonsense. All right, we won. Yeah, they're all going back to the right station. Okay, now you guys, can you please survey this, and then this, and where is our construction ship that we ordered to get up here? Um. I never ordered a construction ship to get up there. Interesting. Well, I need you to claim this, please. And then eventually claim this. Also, this science ship is doing nothing, so... Excavate our ecology sites, please. No, not that one. This one. Favorite society. I guess we could try... Oh, yeah, no. We gotta do this to get psionic theory so we can figure it out. Agenda speed. I mean, all right, sure. And we're just going to get rid of you. I know I don't like wasting ships, but those ships are useless. Yeah, they're useless. The very big bird threat to our left is 
only getting more and more scary. They just claimed more of our systems not too long ago. And they're actually in a war with the Federation in which they're not losing. I don't know if they're winning, but they're not losing. Oh, they might... Oh, no, they are winning. I see their fleets coming through my territory, the Federation fleets. They might be doing a counteroffensive here. These guys cannot get through my borders as they are closed. I have our station upgrading here. As soon as all of these upgrades are finished, I will make more defense platforms. I can I can just buy them now. Yeah, I'll just buy them now. Make sure I don't forget. But uh yeah. This uh this this bird nation is um <laughs> Is definitely a threat and they are fanatic materialist xenophobes they are never gonna get along with us so they are just gonna be a constant threat throughout the entire game here a threat the Federation the Federation of like people who are somewhat equal to me yeah th this guy is just equivalent to me straight up and this guy's equivalent so equivalent and equivalent should be superior right I mean you'd think Hopefully their counter-offensive that goes through my territory is enough. Where where even is their fleets? Okay, here's their fleet. They have a Federation fleet as well. Interesting. Yeah, oh, these par these guys are part of the Federation as well. I should have mentioned that. They are equivalent to me in every way as well. My fleets aren't small. Council I mean, they're ready. pretty small, I guess. They're not terrible. A higher purpose. Um, I guess we can go... We come in peace. Don't attack us. Um, hmm. 27 months. Would that even help us? No. <laughs> we would figure it out and then have wasted all of our time immediately. I guess we can do counselor experience gain? Sure. I haven't done departmental efficiency for a long time. So, let's do it. Naval capacity. Ship starting experience. I mean... Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Better than reducing crime by a further 25%. Like, who do you think we are getting, like, 75 crime on a planet? Like, I don't have any crime on the planets, I don't think. And this is like a trade world, which is, like, ripe for crime, I think. What are these alien vessels moving through their territory? I don't know. Construction complete. All right. They're starting to move in. Right, hopefully their counteroffensive goes well because... Yeah. I don't see their fleets though. Our oh wait, oh, they're here. Oh, whoa, what? Whoa, hold on. What? What is going on here? Oh, the, um... Oh no, not this guy. He's, he's pretty good. In fact, he's really good. Don't kill him, please. Don't kill him. Science no, don't kill him, no. That guy cost influence. Ow. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna have to buy another one. We'll buy another one. Yes. I'll buy another one. Together we shall uncover secrets long forgotten. Sure. Uh, yeah, our, our scientist ran right into the marauders, unfortunately. We need to make him a new science ship as well. Rip. Rip special scientist. Okay, you... Expansionist. Oh, you suck. Oh no, <laughs> this guy sucks. I mean, eye for talent's good, actually. You can't argue with eye for talent. Um... Oh, he was the head of our research? Well, good thing we just bought a replacement. There's another guy who needs upgrading? Okay, this person. You're an industrialist. An industrialist human governor in our in our realm. Sort of strange. An advisor. Um, we still need 27 months here. These guys declared war on these guys. Wait, so they're at war with the Federation then? Oh no, they're just at war with the... Ryo? What? How does that work? Are these guys a bulwark? <gasps> they're a bulwark? Wait. I could... I could seize their assets. I could genuinely seize their assets. Wait, I might actually do that though. How badly would that piss off? Oh, well, I mean, only 29 citizens in this place anyway. And they'd still be moderately happy? And I could get right through the Federation's borders to attack their bulwark. 
I I might genuinely do a hostile takeover. Wait, how many how many will I get? Okay, war is waged to seize claimed enemy systems. Um, adding a claim. Wait, I don't have claims though. I just want their their branch offices. Yeah, war is waged. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. War is waged to seize control of their branch offices. <laughs> we can just do that. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, we might actually do that. Even as pacifists, we might do that. Uh, unironically. In fact, yeah, we're, we are doing that. Okay, let's hire... Let's hire another commander. We only have, like, one. Um... You can be a fleet organizer. And hostile fleet organizer. In fact, you are already better than our current Minister of Defense. Get on the council, buddy. And then, do we have another leader available? No. Not really. We have... <laughs> these guys from from uh from Gossack Gossack and then we have the humans hmm a trickster you're a xenophile I don't really like that but you have aggressive oh no you have no you have that never mind that's terrible um you're a spiritualist and you have weapons range hmm yeah, I think weapons range... Oh, this is a level 3 commander, though. No, I think weapons range is better. And then we can upgrade them to what we want. So yeah, let's upgrade these ships and then actually do a hostile takeover. I think he said in faith leads Our victory or something. Which is very based. Our ships All have right. been improved. Upgrading ships. Preparing for upgrades. Wait, is this... Is there something in the way? No. Why are you? Oh, oh! You're waiting up for upgrades because we can't afford it, right? Construction complete. Yes, we we still need our industrial station to pick up traction here. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, all upgraded, all good. All right, let's let's go here and just attack our our friend here. I mean, they're pathetic, so they probably lost all their fleets in the war they have against well the other two empires, really. I guess we can also do the Jovian Pox bombardment stance since we're not bringing armies. We're definitely not going to be doing that. Oh, a thousand days. Ooh. That's actually really risky. If we if our, if we get caught with our fleets over here and we're not here to defend this station, we're going to have to solely rely on this station winning any offensive like like offensive from these guys. Which, they're still superior, and they might- oh! Oh. I spoke too soon. We didn't just build any ships, so... Yeah, 6.5k, 9k? Whoa, whoa. Those guys are tough. Okay, so we researched psionic theory. Perfect. Um, let's do that, sure. And then we can finally... Go psionics. Counselor psionic tradition. Available. Yes. A glimpse, perhaps, of the future that awaits us. Modify pops in Shep Golden Church by adding the trait Latent Psionic. Of course. Do we want to build Psy Corps? Yes. Base Intel? Okay. And now we... Okay. Then we, we go full Psionic. Awesome. Um, somebody has an upgrade. Spark of Genius 2. Resilience 2. Sure, sure. All right, starting the war, seizing assets. The crusade of the righteous <laughs> begins. <laughs> How do you like our new ship designs? I get tons of chrome perfection delivered straight to your door. Yeah, all right. If you say so. Um, yeah, we're we're just trying to seize assets, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get in there. I guess we'll use. Oh, we can only use selective bombardment. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, a thousand station, not bad. How um how upset Heretic is my station engaged? Oh yeah, they <laughs> keep the peace, non-violence, wars of aggression. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have to though. We have to. We don't really have to, but like we have to. These guys are. Oh, they made peace. 
Evading heretics. Interesting. Okay, so I will be able to take these guys over fully then, probably. Great awakening. Yes. All of our leaders. Except this guy. Except that useless guy. Have psionic. Let's see. Oh, there's the useless guy. Yes. Ship weapons damage plus 10%. Shield hardening plus 10%. Council agenda ready. Awesome, awesome. Heretic station engaged. A resolution has been passed. Pan Galactic recycling initiatives. Okay. If you say so. Um. Sonic supremacy. Sure, sure. Idle leaders. Yeah, that one's useless. Spaceborn creature encountered. What is this? Oh, that's a raiding fleet. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess let's bomb, bomb these guys for a long time. Yes, allow surrender, please. And yeah, I guess this war will, will take a very long time, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to make these guys cordy or very friendly with us, as I don't think... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, you just... Oh, oh thank God. Okay, you're not a megacorp. The okay, these guys are um, are another fanatic um, militarist <laughs> spiritualist empire up here, bunch of uh, bunch of crazy engaged. zealots. But I'm pretty sure these crazy zealots have not and would not sign a a uh, commercial pact with our rivals, even though we are taking our rivals over when it comes to business. But you know. Yeah, anyway, there is a market over here that is completely untapped, and with us being their spiritualist brothers, we don't even really need to set up our our churches, really. We just need to we just need to do this and then we can the spend our influence wisdom. that we've been full on for a while. Complete. Oh wait, wait, is this Oh their war with the Federation's over? <gasps> they took they took some systems, huh? Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh. Wait, Lando. Oh, these guys were the were were the attackers. Interesting. And they took systems. Okay. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Interesting. Yeah. Hopefully those guys don't attack us. That would be really bad. Cause. Uh, <laughs> yeah, our fleets are very far away. We'd probably just have to emergency FTL them back. They'd probably be quicker. Complete. Potentially, I don't even know. So, that's a bad time. How much war exhaustion do we really need to get here? Hmm, 75? Oh, it's kind of a lot. Well, if we just have time, we can do it. If we just... If we just have time. Let's do this and... This. Yes. How close are we? We're so close. Okay, the planet surrendered. Awesome. Let's take these ships and move them on in. I don't think... I don't think even with the war over with the nation, I still don't think it'll be... Heretic station engaged. It'll be enough for them to come back and actually have a meaningful defense. I'm not sure, though. I can't say that with certainty. Uh, special project, the Shroud. Yeah, let's just get breaching the Shroud. Let's just do it now. I know it's going to take like a hundred million months and like we have more important things to do, like getting our next civic slot, but... Construction complete. Do it again. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Alright, they did it. They declared war. Or maybe someone else declared war I don't know these are both pretty big empires but either way it doesn't matter because they have a commercial pact ready and willing for us to do oh it looks like they have the uh, they have the consumer goods version of trade interesting but yeah let's let's get this done and spend this influence and money that I just have too much of overlord garrison Wait. Oh, okay. I don't know why I had a different empire. So wait. Wait, these guys. Wait, these big guys here are. They're a scalorium. Oh, under. Under 
Under materialists? What? What is going on here? Am I being stupid? I am being stupid. Those are different people. These are their own people. And they were just willing to do a commercial pact and I didn't even realize it. Well, that's really silly. But uh, I'm glad I figured it out. You're, you're already spiritualist, right? Yeah, you're fanatic spiritualist. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, I guess I can just set up a bunch of commercial pa or branch offices. Let's do another one here. Commercial forum. 71 trade. That'll be a good one. How much influence are we at? We're at 500. Um, okay, this one should be good. 22 trade. Okay, good, good. Oh, did we do... Yeah, we did this one. Alright, I think we got them all. Did we, we got this one, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we the got everything we need to from them. Us new wisdom. Spaceborn creature encountered. No, don't want a migration pact. Wish these guys would sign a commercial pact. I guess it's no rush Spaceborn anymore since we don't have influence. But yeah. Only ten percent destruction. <laughs> oh, they surrendered. Oh, never mind. I should stop complaining. Let's, let's bomb this now. Not ready yet. They're not. They're d definitely not ready yet. But soon. We defeated their fleet for the third time. I didn't show any of the battles, as it was just like a one k fleet or two k fleet against my big thing. So it's not really a big deal. But either way, we have beat them down far enough into their home system that they just they've just capitulated, and we have a lot more branch offices now. Okay, wow. This is incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible. Look at all those branch offices. This is going to be, like, insane for our economy. I don't even... Like, I know I made a lot of my people very upset. But, like, the economy, though. Look at it. It's just incredible. I don't even... I, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, look at all this. This is, this is nonsense. What... Which, where is this? Oh, these are materialists. Hopefully they won't be for long. Let's get the Temple of Prosperity up in there. And this. Let's get another temple. He's got These people gotta not like us for doing this to them <laughs> with the whole temple nonsense. But, uh, you know, I'm not too concerned about it. These guys are already spiritualists, so I'm not too concerned about converting them. Uh, and then these guys... I think are also spiritualist, right? Yeah. Alright. Um, this we can't build on. And then, yeah. Lots and lots of branch offices making so much money. So much money. It's incredible. <laughs> Let's upgrade this. Hopefully, these guys don't attack us. But even if they do, I mean, we have a 19k station. So, if their fleet complete. is equivalent to mine, they're not getting through that station. Okay, these guys finished their war. It was pretty quick, and they get, and they lost planets too. Interesting. Were you the winner? Interesting. Oh, you're a vassal. Oh, I keep getting you mixed up with these guys. My bad. Oh, these guys are willing to do a commercial pact now. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. Awesome. We have lots of money. Not too much influence, but lots of money to spend on you. Let's do that. Alright. Let's get your capital done. Done and dusted. Man, that was 230 influence just for the capital. Ouch. Um, What's your biggest producing world? Is this one? For sure. 230 influence. Ouch. Is this really across the galaxy? Oh, wow. It is, it is across the entire galaxy. Okay, I see why it's 230 influence now. Wait, is there not a passage through here? Wait a second. Is the only passages to the other side of the galaxy through here? Right here? I think it is. And is all of this space just... Oh, all of this space is unoccupied because it's all cut off by the Fallen Empire. 
Holy crap, this is like... This is a lot of space. Oh, and, and the Marauders are also blocking it off. Do we have someone investigating the Marauders? We should. These are the Marauders, by the way. Yeah, I think you saw them kill my science ship, but yeah. This whole section of the galaxy is just... This, this could fit like two empires and it's just locked behind the marauders and the uh, idiotic robots. Although I can't insult the robots too much. They are probably going to be our saving grace. Especially if the contingency <laughs> starts here. Or not contingency, any crisis starts here and then tries to get through. That would be very nice. I don't know, we'll see how long this space just goes completely unoccupied. That's funny. Probably not too long. As these guys, these pink guys, are eventually going to regain their strength, I hope, and, you know, just claim through it. I don't think these guys have their borders closed to anybody now. So, they can just, they can just go across and claim. It's only one system away to claim. It shouldn't cost too much. Wait. What? There's a star base here. Okay, I need you to check out this immediately. We have the color out of space thing. Of course, we're going to choke it. Slaving despots. I have a message for you, depraved species. Stay out of our internal affairs. Okay. Well, divine or whatnot. Did these, are these guys like a, a pre-FDL that like upgraded? Wait, is this a one planet little empire here? <gasps> Wait, they just joined the galactic community, huh? Wait, did... Oh yeah, they did! <gasps> These guys are pre-FTL that grew up, and they have all of this space to expand. Wow, these slaving despots might make a name for themselves. I might want to actually... I might want to actually, you know... Incoming make friends with them before they get big. I'm not above trading with slaving despots. Not at all. Not aggression pact. I don't need that. I'm a pacifist. Why do you need a non-aggression pact with a pacifist? Well, I guess I just I did just go to war with someone to conquer <laughs> to conquer nonsense like branch offices. So okay, you know what? I I see I see where I see where they're they're seeing me as a threat here. But no more war. I I promise, no more war. Well. Maybe no more war. Maybe. We have just received word that the <laughs> the planet, the, the random world that we had uh, some kind of atomic clock or whatever, I think. Yeah, the atomic clock. And we told it to just keep on ticking. It wasn't a bomb. Apparently, System incredibly, it's a Gaia world. And <laughs> you might be like, oh, okay, who cares, right? Like, it's a Gaia world. What do you need a Gaia world for? Well, I'll tell you what I need a Gaia world for. I need a Gaia world to take this crappy little ocean world out of a consecrated world and do this. Holy world. There we go. Is deemed immaculate and sacrosanct place. Which makes sense. This is a holy world. I mean, it kind of just showed up in like a jump away from our system. In this weird system that's kind of like perfectly just behind our our empire like capital here so yeah I can see how they would think this is a holy world and this actually increases the church approval to 100% as consecrated and unspoiled holy world within our borders will give us the last thing we need and every it's a hundred percent happiness like nothing else they, they, they could be not happier it's 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 great these guys definitely could be happier I mean we did just declare war not too long ago they are upset about it. Hopefully System they'll get over it at some point. Because I really... Oh. Why did they get destroyed? Hostile encounter with the galactic... Havud Zan regime. Oh. That's not good. Who Who is the Havuzu Zan regime? I don't even know. Where... Where are they? Are they like a fanatic purifier somewhere I don't see? Yarny Commonwealth, <laughs> they're expanding. They're taking over this this unspoiled area with lots of worlds. It's gonna be interesting. Um, who who is the 
regime? I don't I don't know. Do we not know them? I don't I don't see them here. Regime, regime. Oh, here they are. Oh wait, you guys killed them? Why would you do that? Xenophile militarist. Why would you do that? <laughs> wait. These guys are the ones who, who killed them. Collective who have a lose on regime. That's that's so mean. Why would you kill them? I don't I don't understand why they killed them. They're also at, wait. The Galactic Throw Regime, the nation nation of Rixara. Wait, the nation of Rixara was guaranteeing these people or something? Interesting. Okay, so the fighter the Federation and the mean bird people are at war again. Um What is this? Begins the attack begins the task attack nation of Ujaru uh, event chain. Custodian, message follows. Uh, the nation of Rixaru have been compromised by the blank. Due to ethic restrictions in our programming, the use of custodian war assets is restricted. Secondary containments uh said before it gets spread. We ask the deployment of Shep of war assets for the task. Wait. They want me to attack the nation of Rixaru? I mean, I hate the nation of Rixaru, but my... my my pacifist faction is never gonna like me again. Uh, I mean, if they're a threat, they must be stopped. Okay. Um, construction of interplanetary vessel. Where's this? Okay. Blessing from the divine. Sure. I don't. I don't know why they showed me that. Um, these guys started to integrate the Brile Corporation. Wait. The Brow Corporation is going to be gone? <gasps> Yo. Let's go. Wait, no competition in the galaxy, I think. After they're gone, I think there's going to be no other Megacorp in the galaxy to compete with. Let's get Supremacy just available. because, I mean, just, you just need it eventually. Like, Supremacy is an always picked thing. Like, you can't not pick it. Even as a pacifist, you got to pick it because... Like, the defense in depth thing. Like, even if you're only defending yourself, you need it for defense in depth. So, you just always need it. Um, let's get rid of our... I guess we can't really do much. We can do this, and this. I guess we could waste it on that. Why not? I don't know. Just to make the pop-up go away. Alright, so... Do we actually have to go to, to war with the nation of Rosario, or what? Or did they just, like, borrow our fleets to do it? No. So what was that whole thing? Like, attack the nation of Rixaru? Like, when are we going to have to do that? I mean, I'm down for it. I, I really don't like them, obviously. Pleasure seekers, heroic past, mining guilds. Hmm. System survey complete. Interesting. Our really good minister of defense, not because he was a really good minister of defense but more because he added stability to our planets and minus crime and all that nonsense has resigned due to a deteriorating deteriorating mental state at 43 oh man is working for our empire really that hard i can't put this guy in charge so i guess i'll just do this guy in charge for now gum you're only in charge for now mr gum soon you won't be um, I'm guessing this guy might be good. Oh, resources from Psionic Pops? Oh, wow. Wait, wait. That guy's really good. Never mind. Um, in unemployment on Golden Endeavor. Well, you can increase benefits, I guess. I don't know. You should be employed. Oh, not all of you, though. Hmm... All right, we can always Special resettle you. Complete. It's not against our laws or anything. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go work a different trade station, that's fine. Yeah, we just we just really need jobs at this point. We are making a sickening amount of money at this point. I mean, <laughs> I I actually can't spend it quick enough most of the time. It's just always pouring in. So yeah, from all of our trade offices, mainly our trade office. Let's see, 
Let's see how much we make. Yeah, branch offices, 2,000. And then trade, another 1,000. So, then stations, another 148, apparently. And then subject taxes, another 200. So, yeah, we're making 2,000 alone just from our branch offices, which is crazy. We're also supplementing our food with our branch offices as well. Let's see. Yeah, subject taxes and corporate buildings are the majority of our food. We also have some food from Starbase, but we don't have a single food producing pot. We don't have a single farmer in our empire at all. Completely no farmers. So if this was like a no farmer challenge run, we've definitely done it. And we're pretty powerful. I'd say. I mean, the galactic community doesn't really think so. We're kind of like on the lower end about mid we're about mid let's see what the strongest one is so their fleet power is 1200 and ours is is 500 hmm okay okay <laughs> okay you know what they have a point all right maybe my maybe I'm not actually that strong wow look at these guys wait an uprising hello where is their uprising oh nice you know what? I'm gonna fund this revolution here. You want money? You like money for your revolution? Here you go. Do as much damage as you can to these Riksaru. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. These Riksaru, Riksaru bastards. Yeah, just do as much damage the as you can. I don't care. I would donate wisdom. them alloys as well, but we don't really have the alloys. And apparently we're behind a little bit in fleet power, which is fair enough. I haven't really developed it because I just, I don't need it. The only threat is these guys, and as long as I'm equivalent to them, I'm happy. Our ships the Federation is our friend. We have, uh, yeah, plus 700 relationship. Council agenda available. Council plus 600, yeah, it's just, yeah. Space storm slumbering. Our ships well, it doesn't really matter improved. for us too much. I don't think, I don't think favorite society we still cannot expand the council but we also still not have not got our civic I had the opportunity to research the civic the extra civic but I uh, I did the psionics instead so we could actually get psionics well, let's do a higher purpose can we get this guy on the council now okay good good, good. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. we have a bunch of new stuff reformer this guy is currently giving us 25% unity then Resources from Pops plus 25% on our Unity world, by the way. This is a full Unity world. And then, on top of that, he's giving us another 10% Unity. On top of giving another 10% Unity from the planet. And then another 5% Unity on the sector jobs, which on all of our planets, by the way, we have, we have at least the business management nexus as well. Oh. I lied. We gotta upgrade that, and then on all of our planets we'll have the business management nexus. But you, you get what I mean. Yeah, so we, we... We are making a lot of unity. We are the ultimate Gigacorp, after all. I could go and spend my ascension perks currently, uh, just to ascend my things a little bit further. Actually, I can send, I can ascend them further now. Why? I don't know. Why, didn't I have to pick another ascension perk? No? Do you just need the slot? Wait. Why was I just allowed to do that? Unlocking all ascension perks increases the planetary ascension cap by four. Oh, wait. Does that just mean unlocking all traditions? Oh, no, we didn't do that. Huh, I don't know why we can upgrade further, but... We can, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh, we have a sky dome. Oh, that's cool. Where do we want to put a sky dome? On our capital? We could put a sky dome on our capital. What's the sky dome do again? Plus 20 housing, plus 20 amenities. I don't think we really need that on our capital, though. I'll save that for later, but that's really cool. We have a sky dome and our little sky stations. Hmm? Oh, there it is. Hello. There we go. That is exactly what we need. So that's good. Investor. Man, we are just stacking and stacking bonuses that are just insane. Let's see if we can stack another one from the Shroud. 
Um, centuries may be mere hours. Okay. Well, sure. Precognition interface. Oh, man. Another military bonus. So, yeah, I, I would... Well, I was going to say I would spend the Ascension perks, but it seems like I don't even need to. I can just... I just got to save up influence now. We're plus a thousand influence a day, uh, a month. So, pretty much plus 2,000, actually, because we have plus 1,800 a month, so... Creature encountered. Incoming yeah. transmission. And again, we have so much money we can't even spend it. We have our civic slot here, and I'm not exactly sure what we want. I mean, all of these things would be good. Hmm. Permanent employment may be <laughs> useful, actually. I mean... No, it's 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 messed up. I don't I don't know if we should go for permanent employment. I don't think we're that kind of that kind of people. Mastercraft. I don't know if we're master crafters either. Hmm. Knowledge mentorship. Free traders. I mean we could go with free traders. That would be a very easy thing to do. We could also allow decadent lifestyle. Hmm. We could, we could. We could also do Corporate Death Cult, but I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll just go the... the strong, silent route of, uh... Wait. Farm Estate. Pop Growth Speed, plus 1%. Habitability, plus 1%. Capital Buildings produce plus 1 medical workers. Amenities for medical workers. Trade for medical workers. Can build the Corporate Clinic Corporate Building. I mean, we do need pop growth speed. Like, if anything, that's kind of what we need the most. We might, we might delve into pharmaceuticals. You know what? Yeah, I think I am going to. Leadership, leadership lifespan plus ten percent is, or er, plus ten is good as well. Actually, yeah, I think, I think we're, uh, yeah. Sounds good to me. Let's reorganize our council. We're going to need a... We're going to need a head of research, of course. We're going to need a... We're going to need a chief ascension officer, of course. We can we can have you as the chief ascension officer. Um, Temple of Prosperity ethic shift chance would be nice. But I think more importantly we need this new pharmaceutical executive, right? I think we need that. And then finally, I think we could... I mean, we don't really need a Minister of State. And we don't really need a Minister of Defense. Yeah, we don't really need either of those things. Yeah, we don't need them at all, really, actually. So we can actually do a Executive High Priest. Um, which is apparently you, Mr. Okoku. All right, there's our new council, and I think we can finally do the expand the council thing, maybe, potentially. Ah, yes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to spend the influence. I know, it's a lot of influence just to, for nonsense, but expand the council. Easy. All counselors gain skill. One of them leveled up. They can be experienced in particles, I suppose, or industry. Industry's nice, actually. We'll do industry. And then, yeah, I think everything is good. Um, building slots, does that mean on habitats? Oh, max habitats district. Plus one? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We have just got Psy jump drives from the Shroud. It pays have us new to go wisdom. into the Shroud. It really does. This early. We don't even have battleships yet, and we have a Psy jump drive. Um, both of these are bad, so just go with that one. So, yeah. I Wait, oh no, we have to research it still. Is it a dangerous tech? Oh, we, we're about to have battleships. The spirits have if I want them. I mean, wisdom. I don't need them right now. Oh, nutritional plentitude, that's good, but let's see. Um, no, side drive and drive is actually a dangerous tech, and we don't want to do that just yet. I don't know if I'm ready just yet for the thing. We haven't. We also haven't done precognitive interface. We got to do those two things, but first we got to get nutritional plenitude. It's just 
we need the pop growth really bad. So, yeah. Yeah, there's not much choice in the matter. Here are our worlds. Pretty, pretty decent worlds, if I do say so myself. Um, we're just pretty much golden on everything except consumer goods, but we have more money than we can even spend per month. Yeah, we're gaining 2,642 a month. So it's not, it's not an issue to buy the consumer goods outright. It really isn't. But as you can see, our worlds are very, very nice, very developed. The only thing that we really need is more pops. And uh, I am impatient. I want more pops. More. We only have 207 pops in our entire empire. So it's not like I'm being too impatient here. It's not like I'm being unreasonable. I mean, I wonder how many pops these guys have in their empire. I guess I can't tell. What about these guys who I'm like good friends with? Will they tell me? Okay, so they have 212. And they are a common ground start. I don't even... Do, do I, can I tell how many these guys have? These guys have 338. I guess they aren't beating me by too much, but... Yeah. We are we are making do with only... F what is it? Five habitats? Yeah, five habita habitats. And I certainly don't feel like I need to build another anytime soon. Okay. We finished all of the tradition tree. And it is the year... 2321. 2321. Wow. Tradition tree gone. And our planets are also ascended, so it's not like I've just spent it on that. Yeah, pretty crazy. Industrial station. I guess we'll do that. There's no point in doing one of the other things. We're only plus eight alloys a month, which is crazy. Oh, here we go. We can mo we can make more fast food. I guess we could also do private military things, but I think fast food is just going to help us out here too much. Wait. Produces... I guess we can start doing some medical workers as well. Why not? You know, this is what we invested in, right? Might as well do some. Those will probably be the last two I do. I don't think they're very good. Okay, nutritional plenitude. Good, 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 good. Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what we need. There we go. And we still have plenty of edict fund. I thought after nutritional plenitude we'd be we'd be over the limit there, but no. Hmm. I guess we can do fortify the border. Have more star bases? Sure. I guess we can also do this as well. It doesn't cost us any any unity. We can just have more fleet experience, why not? And ship upkeep bothers us none. So, System yeah. Survey complete. So I guess I'll build my starport here. And do we have another system where... No, we don't. Alright, so I can build this next star base anywhere. I guess I'll build it... I don't know. I could build it here. To defend the black hole in a pinch and to uh, set up the the building that the curators give us. And the black hole research station. I guess we'll just do that. As research is really the only thing we need right now. I know I said I need pops, but really I only need pops so that I can... I don't even know. Why, why do I even need pops? I don't really. I mean, I need them to work my jobs, but I don't really need anybody to work my jobs, per se. I don't know. I'm doing pretty good here. We have to hire an admiral and then eventually give one of these fleets away. In fact, I'll probably just give this fleet away and let this guy make his own little human thing. Or no, I should probably give it to a, a ship. Or we can use it to get rid of the human. Having a high level human in our military is questionable after all. But then again, complete. making our mercenary enclave in the control of humans might be more questionable now that I'm thinking about it. We will have to see. We'll have to see. Look at all the pop speed growth modifiers we have. Look. Rapid breeders, genome mapping, cloning, nutritional plenitude, a new life, pharmaceutical executive, fertility preacher 2, fertility preacher 2, and then pop jobs 25%. All of that 
to make sure that we get the fastest ship possible. It's still nine months, and it's only like halfway through. Hmm, interesting. This one will complete in 15 months. 13 months. So we're getting about a pop every, like, what, 16 months? I guess that's not too bad. But, like, when we're focusing all in on it, trying to, you know, build up these worlds as best we can, it gets a little questionable. I don't know what we'll do with our, with our main world here. <laughs> I kind of want to tear down the industrial districts, but I know that's not a good idea, as this is uh, the industrial backbone of our empire. <laughs> I want this to be the industrial back zone, backbone of our empire, but we just don't have the pops, again. So I guess I'll just keep building habitation districts, waiting for the day that we get the uh, temple upgrades, so that we can do that then we can really boost this planet into producing unity. I mean, again, let's see how many let's see how many bonuses we have to unity production as well. Uh, where is our priests? Priests and managers. Let's see here. 16. So we have plus 20% for veneration of saints, buildings, empire capital, prosperity traditions, high society. Yeah, that's a lot. Reformer, one vision, consecrated world worship. Planetary Unification, Fanatic Spiritualist, Psionic, Traditional, yeah, it's, it's too many to read, actually. We have so many bonuses to Unity. It's kind of, it's kind of nutty. Interesting. Yeah, we can even add more bonuses, why not? Let's do it. Maximum attention, uh, Ascension tier is 5. Gain more Ascension perks to increase the maximum. Okay, so as soon as we get, f oh no, we already had 5. Okay. Well, let's, let's upgrade these as well. Why not? I mean, we have so much unity. We had like 50k right there. Uh, yeah, let's just keep doing it. All right, sounds good. Oh, I should have, I should have been. Well, I was gonna say I should have upgraded this, but System we don't need minus complete. minerals actually. So, yeah. Um, somebody is integrating someone else. I don't care. Wait, where is this guy? The Rixaru? Hmm. You're not doing too well when it comes to <laughs> infiltration. Just, just yeah, just just recall him. We'll send him to do something else. He he can only get thirty infiltration. Oh, they're pathetic. Interesting. They're pathetic, but they they're winning by a lot. complete. Nation of Rixaro. They're pathetic, but they're winning by a lot. Are these guys pathetic as well? No, they're inferior. This is like a forever war. Interesting. Expand the council. Okay, awesome. I don't I don't even know what I really need here. I guess we could do Minister of Defense. We are we are getting a little a little low on our alloys. It's really the only reason. I might reorganize the council later and get someone else, but for now I think we could use someone System to uh reduce complete. our ship upkeep. The spirits yeah, have nah, put us, us back in the positive. Wisdom. Yeah, we could use a minister of defense. A nation without a minister of defense does look weird. I don't think I've ever played a nation without a minister of defense, so. Yeah. Let's do departmental efficiency. Oh. We had to declare war ourselves. Oh. The spirits have granted us new Well, we should have we should have done that. Especially while they're weak like that. Oops. I guess I should have done it. I made the crazy robots sad. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Unfortunate. So big, big war finished. And I think <laughs> these guys are pretty much finished off at this point. I mean they still have actually they still have most of their worlds actually, but just I don't know, they're just pushed into a corner here, which is really sad to see. Um, so the Galactic Red Thori regime, the advanced start that started over here is pretty much all but gone. And, uh, yeah, it took planets, then they took some planets and... Yeah, they, the, the Federation person, this one, that really just doesn't like them for some unknown reason, has claimed what they wanted and left the rest to the Red Thori regime, which is the name is just great because it's the red thori regime versus 
the galactic Red Thory regime. So here is the galactic Red Thory regime, and here is the Red Thory regime. So they just kind of they just kind of make a made a joke out of them really. Like <laughs> this uh, galactic Huvenzon regime, they just made a joke out of the Red Thory, the old Red Thory regime, which is funny. And then there's another Red Thory thing over here, Red Thory coalition. And then oh, the, then there's another one, the Red Thory confederation. Hmm. There's a lot of Red Thory stuff happening. It seems everyone likes to just take the Red Thory and smash them into bits and make them their vassal. <laughs> so, I, I I don't know why, but that's what's happened, and it's happened again. Oh, their fleet power is pathetic. Interesting. What about these guys? Also pathetic. I guess their wars have finally caught up to them. Oh, this war ended as well. What happened? Did these guys retake some system? No, wait. Wait, no, their, their war hasn't ended yet. Has it? Wait. Oh. Oh, their, their symbol is just so similar. I thought this was being occupied. I never realized. They're similar, like, their symbol is, like, different. It's definitely a different logo, but it's, like, similar. Like, look. That kind of looks like that. They're both kind of green. Both kind of green and, like, this one's, like, reddish brown and this one's like brown I mean this is obviously like crimson but yeah interesting so I wonder who won this war it doesn't look like they took any territory back or did they wait did they take this wait hold on wait 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 oh oh wait 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 no I have I have I have stuff on these worlds so no they did take this wait they won the, these systems here the nation of Rixaru. <gasps> Wait. The Republic is is still <laughs> Wait a second. They actually won? <gasps> Yo, that's awesome. Yeah, well actually, you know what? We can guarantee their independence as well. In fact, you know what? I might do that. Yeah, I'm gonna guarantee their independence just to make sure Oh wait, no. Wait, no, they're they're materialists. No. Incoming transmission. Never mind. Subjugation request. Okay, <laughs> the rest of the Galactic Red Thory regime wants to be my vassal. And, uh, let's see. Are these guys... No, they don't have any claims on them. And do these guys have any claims on them? No. Okay, so I will allow them to be my vassal. Sure. Sounds good. Agreed. Yeah, sounds good to me. We have reached out to commune with the Ineffable and... Boy, have we found one. We have found the Composer of Strands. And it, uh, it wants our bodies. It, uh, yeah. It takes our biological forms and regards it with curious interest. It, uh, it can show us how to be grown, changed, improved, and evolved if only we take it into our flesh. <laughs> All right. It, awais it, it awaits patiently for our answer, affectionately like a dotting father waiting on his favorite child. Well, I mean, okay, sure. I mean, pop growth speed is exactly what we need right now. So, yeah, this is like perfect. You could not have come at a better time, Mr. Composer of Strands. We accept your covenant. It is done. We have formed a covenant with the Composer of Strands. It did not take long for the effects to be felt a sudden and significant increase in both pregnancy and birth rates that is undoubtedly the work of the composer however along with these positive effects we're also experiencing a rash of strange new mutations oh we're just evolving it's fine offspring born with extra limbs and organs some which bear no resemblance to any prev previously cataloged part of their anatomy oh well i'm sure i'm sure the composer knows what he's doing i mean he's in the shroud it's like the holy thing land something um, fortunately, few deaths have been, uh, the few deaths that resulting from them are more than outweighed by the higher birth rates, of course, of course, and the apparent increased vitality of our people. We have done the right thing. We, of course we've done the right thing. Increasing our, increasing our birth speed, our birth rate, it's like our exactly what we improved. needed. Excellent. And we're making friends wisdom. with something in the shroud as well, I mean... It's a win-win. Everybody's winning. It's just constant winning. Ooh, we have a hollow temple, too. Amazing. We just can't stop winning. 
the spirits have granted. We have finished mega structural engineering. Or I guess just mega engineering. But anyway, our resource capacity is plus 20,000, which is actually excellent for our empire. We're always filled up on energy credits. Now we ha now we can have a thousand. Or sorry, a hundred thousand. <laughs> and we're making around four thousand a month. Everything else, though, we are not making too much of. Our empire's not really good at anything except making money, which is fair, which is fair. But, uh, yeah, mega structural engineering will allow us to... Yes, master builders. That is definitely something we want, is master builders. Because we're going to want... We're going to want a lot of mega structures this time, and we're going to want them early and often. The only really setback we have right now is alloys. Yeah. What kind of mega structures can we even build right now? None? What's going on here? I thought I thought we'd at least have the quantum catapult. Unlocked mega structure quantum catapult. Okay, we do have a quantum catapult, but why can't we? This is strange. Why can't we build it? Wait, wait, wait. Build mega structure. Do we not have the quantum catapult? Is it just like unlock the research option? Let's see. No. Unless it's somewhere in here. No. That's weird. I mean, I didn't want to build the quantum catapult anyway, but it's weird that we don't have it. Um. Yeah. We've also made friends with these guys. These guys are slowly taking over everything over here. And yeah, our science ship is also slowly surveying everything. They're still not done, by the way. This guy is our head of research. He's a level what? Like eight? What, what even is that number? I can't tell. He is level, why is it not saying? Oh yeah, he's level eight. Okay, I was right. And uh, he's been surveying this this entire time and he's still not done, so. Yeah, these guys have wandered into a pretty big empire here, especially for a for a slow start here. But oh, we've also made friends with them. I'm guessing our our improving relations with uh, with them has paid off in dividends. We're not going to really get much out of this, but just getting you know what's what's the word I'm looking for? Getting you know first choice when it comes to setting these guys up. Wait, are these guys spiritualists? No. They are fanatic xenophobe authoritarians. So they're slaving despots. A dictatorial slaving despots which also have slaving guilds. So they're very passionate about saving. Slaving. In fact they're so passionate about slaving that they want to they want to spread slaving to other empires. They have crusader spirit for slaving despots. That's interesting. They are they're very passionate about slavery. <laughs> What the hell? I've never seen a slaving despot, slaver guilds, fanatic xenophobe, crusader spirit. Like they are. I mean, you know, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be passionate about something, or I mean, if you're gonna believe something, you might as well be passionate about it. I guess. I don't know. Oh, this world has a good amount of trade. Yeah, I guess we'll do this one. Giving us twenty nine. It's a worthwhile investment. Have we have so many wisdom. branch offices, by the way. Look at all of these branch offices. Um, you have finished. We'll make this and this. Most of our food comes from... Actually, all of our food comes from corporate buildings. And how much of our money? Um, yeah, branch offices... 3,441... Yeah, so 3,000 of our energy comes from our branch offices, which is actually not all of our... If we if we got rid of every single one of these branch offices, we would still be positive in money by, like, 1,000. So, yeah, this, this trade station currently has yeah, 1,600... In fact, I could even raise that with another ascension tier. Yeah, 1,650 trade value yeah so our empire is really good at trade 
very poor at making alloys. I have bought, yeah, I have bought 75,000 alloys. We can get, we can ramp that up to 78,000 because we just make one a month. And we wouldn't if we just had more pops, but we just don't. I mean, we are hemorrhaging 177 consumer goods a month and our entire industrial station is pretty much dedicated to like artisans instead of alloys, so. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously dedicated to, like, the other things that support the station itself, but, I, I mean, that's kind of what they should be doing. I suppose we could get rid of some resource silos and put some better buildings down. I don't really need to right now, but I will eventually do that now that we have a pretty big cap. Um, I'm not seeing any mega structures. I would really like to see some mega structures being Construction available. Complete. Here we're going to have psionic shields. Okay, is there a mega structure here? No. We really need a mega structure to build. Hmm. Okay, we need a mega structure to build. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We're renovating our home planet here. We have mainly hollow temples now, but we also got rid of some hollow temples for some other supporting infrastructure such as the embassy complex and uh, I think the Psy Corpse was already there but we are trading this low-level temple in, in for a galactic stock exchange I think wisdom. overall we're still gathering more unity than we were before just with all these hollow temples but the yeah have granted us priest new jobs wisdom. plus one manager jobs plus one and this is uh, plus two plus two so yeah I think overall we've 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 increased our amount of priests mm -hmm. and managers uh, what do you have? Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, please, a mega structure. We have everything open here. No mega structures. We are breezing through tech, by the way. We, I mean, we have gotten pretty big when it comes to empire size, plus 20% technology cost, but we have focused mainly on our research station. We have 49 out of 54 researchers here. We have, we have dedicated our workforce to this research station. I could have dedicated our workforce to here so that we're not negative on both of these things, but I made the executive decision just to get through research just because it's kind of very important. Um, yeah, sure, two months. What, 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 what is the lowest thing here? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that, I guess. Well, we don't really need that ever. I guess we'll try to do that. I don't know. We're just kind of waiting for mega structures right now. We really, we really need, 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 need mega structures, just to make make use of our ascension perk more than anything. Still don't. Okay. Do I even have a star that would support a quantum catapult here? I'm not seeing one. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it's not giving me the option to build a quantum catapult because I don't have a star that would support it. I really, I, I don't, I actually don't. Interestingly, I don't have a star that would support a quantum quantum catapult. This is not a star that would support it. No, no, it's not. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a star that would support a quantum catapult, so we just can't have a quantum catapult. Maybe that's why it wouldn't let me build one. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I guess that just means I gotta wait for a tech. You know, since I figured that we have this ridiculous amount of money coming in and our main problem is alloys and consumer goods, I think I might make the sacrifice of taking pretty much a lot of the pops away from this station and giving it to a uh, golden process. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. At least a good portion of them. Just so that, you know, we can make the alloys and consumer goods that we need. Yeah, that's a lot of, of trade that we just gave up. Yeah, that was... That's over a thousand trade we just gave up. Uh, which is also giving up some unity as well, if you forgot. We have... We have the... The what is it called again? I forget. Not wisdom. consumer benefits, but the other one. Yeah, marketplace of ideas. The we have that. Have granted us new wisdom. We can also have one of these things. Um, I guess we we don't really need any of these things. 
Even though we could afford them. I mean, we could do networked movement. But we don't even... No, we don't know. No. No, no. Okay, so we have traded most of our traders for these guys. And we're only negative 37 in consumer goods. And plus 390 alloys. And we're still making 3,000 a month. Oh, yeah. I think I... I think I definitely made the right decision here. In fact, I probably should have done this earlier. I took all of the the clerks off of Golden Endeavor to give the Golden Process a while ago, but I never thought to take all of the traders off of Golden Aspiration. As I I did like Golden Aspiration. It was kind of the crown jewel of our little the trade empire, but right now we need alloys more than anything. Oh, wait. Quantum Catapult. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Unlocks mega structure quantum catapult. And I have to research quantum catapult? Why? I don't understand. And it doesn't even give it like as a guaranteed research option. It's just yeah, I can research it. Huh. Interesting. That's kind of crappy. So, wait. What other mega structures do we have? Do I have to Why did it why does it say that? Am I not understanding something? Am I being stupid? Construction complete. I, I don't know. Well, either way, we don't need it anyway. And again, we the don't have the star have for it. So new wisdom. I'm not going to choose that. Hopefully they give us something else this time. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Um, particle lance. Let's just do this because it's quick. Do I have to research this? Like orbital rings, even though we don't need them? Just so we understand mega structures like, like this? Is this like a prerequisite? I know there's an underlying tech tree in Stellaris, but I have no idea. No idea what the mega structures are locked behind, if anything. Well, I'm, I'm certain they're locked behind this. But other than that, I'm saying. System survey complete. Oh yeah, we're making 457. In fact, we could probably make... Oh wait, no. this That just reduces our mineral. Yeah. No, that's not, that's not too useful. Network dominance. I would even go for like the mega art installation here. If, they, if they'd let us have it, but... We're just not getting lucky when it comes to mega structures. Facility of Arco Studies would be nice though. New wisdom. No, I don't want a quantum catapult. I do not want a quantum catapult. Please. Please give me the something else. Please. What about you? Oh. No. no. Please give us something else. Give the us... Spirits have granted us new wisdom. We are shredding through tech, by the way. It's kind of crazy. Um. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, please give us a mega structure. The spirits have granted us Why are people unemployed? Wisdom. Interesting. Uh, mega structure, please. No, maybe they are locked behind this. All right, you know, what? I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> we have no, we have no use for orbital rings, but maybe like mega structures. It doesn't make sense that mega structures would be behind orbital rings, but maybe if we get. Like a high level the spirits have granted us new wisdom. tech. Oh, here, okay, here we go. Century array. That's not really what we want. But would I build it anyway? I mean, okay, out of the one, out of the ones that are default, which ones would I want? I would probably want either the mega shipyard. Yeah, either the mega shipyard the or spirits have granted us new wisdom. the um strategic. Whatever it's called. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. No, I didn't get them. The strategic coordination center. So, worst comes to worst, we'll build this. But if we find something else, yeah, if we find something else, we will, uh, we will build that something more useful. Our main goal is, of course, to just get a mega structure done and dusted with, so that we can build galactic wonders. Of course, we can build. Our matter decompressor, our Dyson sphere, and maybe a ring world. I don't. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not a ring world, actually. 
but definitely a matter decompressor and a ring segment. And as soon as I, as soon as I upgrade like all of these things, I'm probably, yeah, once I get through a lot of the tech, I'm probably going to set down more stations. I'm probably going to set down another mining station here to get minerals. And then I'm probably going to set down another research station here as they have three different research nodes. And then somewhere nearby that has a lot of star, like a lot of planets, so I can make a big habitat, I'm going to make another industrial station. And then... Hmm, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to expand past that, as my empire size is not too small, but the more habitats I have, the, the more have it bloats. So, I'm going to make more habitats soon, as soon as I chew through a little bit more tech. I mean, this tech speed is very nice, and I do not, I do not want to give it up just yet. So... Yes, also this alloy speed is very nice, 15,000. We, I, I have, not we, I, I have been making a big mistake not, uh, not taking advantage of our full, our full thing here. This is a terrible battleship. Um, I'm guessing I'll just make a, a artillery one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one as this one so that it's just faster. So I can put afterburners on here. So they can stay at long range. No, that's not what I want. Maybe swarmer missiles would be would be good. Connect battery and plasma is good. You know what? I would rather it look like this, just for no other reason than it looks nice that way. Um, are we at max power? Why is this not a psionic shield? Oh, we are at max power. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah artillery. Awesome. Do all of our other ships have? No, they don't have psionic shields yet. That's because they can't. Interesting. And we definitely want... Ah, oh, man. Is it going to be done soon or no? Oh, look at all of our branch offices that can be upgraded. Cruisers. No, a lot of cruisers are being built. I'll have to go back and edit this. Even this one is, like, messed up. I would rather have that and this, if you don't mind. And probably, yeah, we probably want this. Just, yeah, this makes more sense. We're keeping a little bit of missiles on our design, on both our uh, cruiser and our battleship and our destroyer. So we are going to be doing a little bit of cruiser action. I might also, I might also do neuron launcher missile, missile boats here and have this as artillery. I'm, I'm designing this right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to build one, but yeah. Okay, it's looking like this is too much power even with one, <laughs> even with one psionic shield. So, in fact, it's too much power. Okay, you know what? Make a four shield, sure. Yeah, I guess that's fine. This also should have the interface. Um, yeah, that looks good. Oh, nope, this. Yeah, that looks good. All right, those are our ship designs for the moment. So hopefully these will be good against whatever crisis that we get. It, once the crisis comes, I'll probably redesign these guys anyway. But for now, that is going to be the ship design. And I'm probably only going to be building battleships from now on. With the Century Array being our only, our only researched megastructure and no other megastructures looking like they're on the way. I guess we will build it. Um, it's not, all is not lost, however, because, well, we can build two. We have, uh, we have Master Builders and I assume we'll have Ascension Theory soon at some point. So we'll be able to build three at once and with us not having to build the Ring World segments, just because our species, like, this is like almost better than a ring world. I mean, look at, look at this trade station alone. 132 housing uh, still available, 105 jobs available, <laughs> and, and like, we already have 30 pops living here. So this is, this is more than enough space for any future generations that want to come along. So yeah, we just, we just really don't need a ring world. So we can build three actual megastructures at a time. So... 
Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put the sentry array, though. That is a good question. This is a perfect system for a Dyson Sphere. Um, does a sentry array take up a spot? No. Okay, so a sentry array can coexist with a habitat um, thing. So where do we want to put it? Probably, probably somewhere deep within our empire, but like not too deep. This, this system could work. This system could also work. This system we might do as our next, our next uh, industrial habitat system. This system could also work. It's pretty useless. It's on the border though. The question is, do I want to put things back here? I guess they are well defended enough from this station if I ever wanted to turn this station into a bastion. I might as well upgrade it to... No, wait. No, no, no. That's way too much. I just realized that I am not... That That is a lot of alloys. I guess I could make it back here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Choices, choices. Okay, I suppose I will make the sentry array here just because... I'm not sure if I'm ever going to turn this into a habitat place, but it also wouldn't work well as anything else. So, like, it wouldn't work well as a Dyson Sphere. It wouldn't work well as a... as a uh, mega shipyard. Probably going to want to build the mega shipyard. Actually, this probably would work well as a mega shipyard area. Hmm. Wouldn't it? Because it's one, two, one, two, one, two, three... One, two, yeah, no, that actually would be a really good central location for a mega shipyard. So I guess we'll build the century array here. Here we will build it. Alright. I, I, have, I have made my decision. It seems that the price for our covenant with the composer of strands has, uh, has come, and apparently we've been living with it for a while. It seems our population has come to treat the random and unpredictable mutations as little more than a normal part of life, hardly worthy of outrage or even discussion. Alright, well, let's see what this price we're paying is. The Shep are randomly mutated. Alright, let's see. So we are these guys, Shep. Let's let's see what we become. Oh, we, we lost Thrifty. Wait, no. <laughs> no. No, that's awful. Oh my goodness. No, we cannot lose Thrifty here. That's ridiculous. Wait, even with minus habitability, we're still 100% habitability, right? Habitability 100%. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's um let's genetically modify our species for the first time. We've researched it. We might as well do it. Um let's get back Thrifty. I mean, we could do something else. Nah, nah. Let's uh, let's get back thrifty here. Um, <laughs> yeah. So our cost is fifteen months, pretty much. I mean, to mutate ourselves back to the way we kind of were, even without the wasteful trait. So that'll be helpful. Um, yeah, that's not a very high cost for probably saving months and months worth of population. Yeah, this this pop will grow in fifteen months. So, yeah. The spirits have or is the composer of strands plus twenty plus ten percent movement speed? Uh, not movement speed, growth speed. So I think that's very much worth. Oh, we have titans as well now. Let's go into marauder missiles. Our fleets have changed a little bit when it comes to how I designed them. They're mainly just kinetic weaponry and different types of missiles, whether they be swarmer missiles or the regular quantum missiles. I think that'll just be for the best for now. I'm I'm also considering doing this. This will kind of round out our fleet as these guys will do damage to the shield and then this will finish off any any uh, last bits of the ship. In fact, yeah, I think I will do that. I mean, if I yeah. I don't I don't see a reason not to actually. 0 to 150 range. Firing arc 25 degrees. Yeah, this seems this seems good. And then of course, yeah, the kinetic weaponry will take out the shields. This will finish off the craft that it strikes, and this will 
will just, you know, swarm any any remaining health that they have. Okay, let's design our Titan as well. I guess we'll just do all kinetic artillery because that just makes more sense. Um, is increasing our fire rate or decreasing the... I guess decreasing the enemy's fire rate would be good. Sure, we'll do Kadoom or whatever. Um, artillery seems good. I mean, we probably want to do Carrier, to be honest, but actually having these guys in artillery range wouldn't be a bad thing. And then this, I will... I will do plus 5% to our own fire rate. I think that'll be good. Or... Maybe the snare would be better, though. Maybe the snare would be better. I plan on having two titans per fleet. We can only have two titans total now, but eventually two titans per fleet. I don't know, do we want fire rate or snare? Combat disengagement chance, emergency FTL cooldown. Hmm. I guess we'll just do fire rate, and if we start winning uh, some whatever whatever war we're in really heavily, then we'll we'll probably switch to the snare just to make sure that they do not do not get away. I don't know. I might switch it later, but yeah, that's that's what we're kind of going to be doing. In fact, I'm also probably going to be building these guys as they are just kind of you know really good for our thing. Most of our most of our weaponry is kinetic battery, which you know is designed to take down shields and then if we had a bunch of artillery frigates which these are shooting neutron launchers and quantum missiles from a distance i think i don't i don't see anything i don't see anything wrong with that per se so yeah i think i'm gonna do that in fact maybe i might do that now so what i plan on doing here is taking no you are gonna stay with this fleet here uh, taking the ships that I don't really want. No, please stop bringing your commander along. Okay, I'll just take off the commander. So, corvettes, destroyers. I don't really have a need for destroyers. Especially when we plan on using frigates. As they are just cheaper and overall less, less naval capacity. The destroyers are pretty much the same as all of our other ships. One kinetic artillery though, and then quantum missiles. But we don't really need them. We don't really need them. We especially don't need any Corvettes in our fleets. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of all of our Corvettes. Put them all in one fleet here. And then I am going to make them into a mercenary enclave. <clears throat> uh, I suppose I'll just do this guy. For our little mercenary enclave. I could also do this guy. He's a good trickster. I don't know if I'll really be using the mercenary enclave too much. It's mainly just to increase our naval capacity and get rid of the naval capacity we don't want, aka these ships. So, hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with someone who's, who's Shep. Um, we'll just give him Fleet Organizer as it's kind of what he's doing. Uh, I guess I... You know what? Yes, I am going to get rid of these destroyers as well. I'm going to get rid of these destroyers and then... This will be a decent fleet. I might build it up a little bit more before I send them off to make an enclave. In fact, I will. Wait, can I make... I could make titans for them. I don't think I'll be doing that, though. We'll give them five of each. Yeah, we'll give them five of each and then send them on their way. Let's make sure that we don't rebuild any... Non Wait, this fleet has destroyers still? Okay, we'll, we'll let this fleet keep its destroyers then, I guess. Um, let's get rid of... This fleet still has five destroyers, interesting. And this fleet still has five destroyers. Well, that's not really what I wanted, but that's completely fine. Yeah, that's completely fine. So this fleet has a lot of our junk. Um, we're going to be building it five of each... Uh, cruisers and battleships and then after that we're going to send it on its merry way to go and be an enclave so yeah then we'll buy the naval capacity increase thing and get rid of all of these 50 corvettes and 20 destroyers we just absolutely have no need for at the moment are we building our science nexus okay we are building the science nexus so i can afford to reinforce this we are also we're also building a science nexus in the in the system with the golden insight, which of course is our 
research station. Our, our, our habitats are looking fairly built up right now. Still 27 jobs, but yeah, we have the Sky Dome on this one. I, I finally made my decision, and it looks like it's perfect. 30 housing, 27 jobs, and there will be a few more jobs along the way. But uh, yeah, it looks like this will be a very well-planned out station. This station has a lot of room to grow, of course, but very big, very big station. Although we're only losing trade value, which is sad. But you know, we, we did that to gain alloys so that we could defend ourselves against a crisis. This is our mining station. I can probably tier this up just to five. And uh, yeah, it produces a lot of minerals. And this is our glorious home station. All of these will be sacred nexuses soon. And uh, our unity juggernaut here will be producing more and more unity. So yeah, that's the current state of our empire. We're also building habitats. Actually, I might as well say we're going to build a mining habitat here with all these little mining nodes. And then we are going to be building a fortress habitat here, where we're going to build our mega shipyard eventually. And then we are building a um, another industrial habitat here, currently building. This is probably going to be an industrial habitat. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be an industrial habitat. And then this habitat here, I don't know what I'm going to build, but I do plan on building a habitat here. So we'll have this little core group of systems here and uh yeah we're gonna build that up with habitats we 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 are gonna increase our empire size by a very unfortunate amount but i mean at this point we're shredding through tech already and uh we have all the tech that's really necessary i mean we have tack lances we have the best missiles we have titans we have most of the mega structures that we want besides the society ones and our society research is pretty, pretty quick, so it should be fine. Oh, 120. Um, we also got the executive street. We might as well build one of those. The only thing in our empire that's really suffering here is the is our rare resources, but that is a fine problem to have when we're making 3k a month. Yeah, let's just... Uh, oh, no, we already built one of those. We don't, we don't need more than one executive retreat. Pretty sure we're like... 100% good on that anyway when it comes to no, not corporate embassy, commercial forum when it comes to uh, amenities, yeah we have 100% stability on all of these worlds and our amenities are <laughs> yeah in the hundreds so we have no need for that but yeah that's the update our on our empire we are going to be building a lot of a lot more habitats and a lot more our ships mega structures our uh, our alloy switch up here from trade to alloy really helped out as we're still getting the bulk of our trade from our our corporate buildings and our branch offices so it should be fine i i don't think i don't think we're going to need to fill this uh, 102 clerk jobs up anytime soon clerk and trader so we have the chance to make one of our people a god i assume and yeah, there are only a few individuals in the entire Shep Golden Church that process the psychic strength needed to tap in this pocket, this energy pocket, with any hopes of survival. So, I I think it's going to have to be the Golden Pontiff, which isn't the best leader ever, but he's also not the worst. He's not the worst. I mean, he's, he's gullible, which, you know, is whatever. I, I don't really think too many people are trying to to sabotage us and uh yeah he has arrested development which i guess wouldn't be a problem if he lived forever i guess he would reach max level anyway so i'm guessing i'll go with him i mean the minister of defense is absolutely worthless here this is the minister of defense the only thing that he's good for is his minus 10 trust cap and uh yeah, in fact, why is he even the Minister of Defense? He is just completely, completely useless. I mean, he's very high level, but I guess, I, I'll ra I'd rather have this guy. What does the Minister of Defense even do again? I forget. Ship upkeep. Yeah, that's not... I'd rather just have someone who's good at this. Naval capacity. And then uh, our scientist is, like, decent, I guess. 
but like we don't really need a scientist being I mean it would be all right it wouldn't be an issue if this guy ran for like golden pontiff that that would be good but other than that he's not very useful so yeah I mean he is pretty useful I I guess if if uh if this guy ever died maybe we would take over but then again we could just buy another brilliant scientist from the curator enclave that's within our borders so we'll always have access to it even if you know the crisis happens as long as we defend them yeah so I'm thinking oh and the official is just not not suited for yeah this is him his, his best trait is that he lives long and then if we made him a god he will never die so we've been kind of negating his best trait so we are going to go with the golden pontiff and yes he, he does get the chosen one trait governing ethics attraction monthly influence and he is immortal let's see him yep he is the chosen one which will also be good if we if we if he ever becomes not the golden pontiff which i want him to be the golden pontiff forever now but if he somehow become became not the golden pontiff we would still have a chosen one admiral which would be excellent so yeah this is not a good time for the galactic power surge across the ship golden church we've suddenly picked up subspace power surge yeah this is uh this is not good this is the unbidden which our ships should actually do really well against missiles and kinetic artillery are kind of what's best against the unbidden in fact i might even want to change this to yeah maybe i would actually you know what? i should change this to argumenters i can't save it right now but i am gonna have to change it to that but yeah our ship design is pretty pretty good against the unbidden i, I don't even have to change much to be honest as they are just mainly shields and uh, and uh, hull and you know swarmer missiles are obviously really good against that our frigates are not and but luckily hold on but luckily I have not built any so my this minus shield damage thing it is fine I have not built any of the and any of the frigates that I was uh, going to build I don't I haven't built any ships at all unfortunately which is the unfortunate part about all of this galactic power surge I mean I'm building ships but just not they're not gonna be in time here Oh, well, the unbidden already uh where's this oh okay wait 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 okay so they've shown up here which means they're gonna have to either go through the marauders and the Federation or the um yeah, the, the, the custodian matrix to get to us, which is a great buffer. Spirits protect us. This will cut into our profit margins. Yeah, this will... Uh, yeah, spirits protect us, please. The oh, wow, they have a new, new portrait. This is very cool. Oh, wow. Feeding ground reach. Prey bountiful at long last. We shall feast. Yeah, these guys are... This is new. <laughs> this is really cool, actually. What are these things? Mm -hmm. So, uh, unfortunately, we do not have sight on the system, which is a shame, as we we do have we do have a uh, sort of built sentry hub. Yeah, it looks like we definitely weren't in time to to get all of our mega structures and stuff going. We just uh, yeah, we just we just weren't in time. I guess we'll do shield hardening, maybe or. Energy weapon. Mm. Okay, what do we even need here? I don't know, but we don't need climate restoration. What we need is um, a side jump drive. We can just stop climate restoration right in its tracks there. And we also need one of our science ships. We can send the empty science ship, actually, to go over here and check this out. The refuge has its borders open to us, right? Yeah, it does. Agenda ready. Is it... <laughs> Wait... The Gendarian Commonwealth has a claim on them? These guys? Are you serious? Okay. Um, oh, hello. Marauders that we haven't seen before. I guess that fills out this portion of the galaxy, this little border gore section. Another another day, another Red Thory civil war over here. Let's see. Yeah, the Red Thory 
Red Thory War of Conquest. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Oh, they want a commercial pact. Sure, buddy, sure. Let's see this home world. Incoming transmission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. No, we don't want this. Yeah, this is uh this is questionable whether we'll actually be able to defeat these guys. Unfortunately. We can do this. So yeah, our fleets are about Yeah, about like thirty K, forty K each. Which is not I don't not I do not think it's gonna be good enough at all. This is only a one times crisis, I'm pretty sure, but it's just so early. Which is fine. I mean, we wanted it to be early. We, we didn't want to stop the crisis. It's not the goal. It's not the goal. We're definitely going to need more alloys. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to... Um, okay. I don't know what destroyed those guys, but fine. We are not going to be able to... Not going to be able to build all the mega structures we needed to. Or even colonize all the worlds we needed to. Oh, we haven't colonized this one yet, either. I'm not sure what this world is going to be. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what I even need that habitat for. I know this one's going to be an industrial station. This one's going to be a fortress. So we have um we have golden formation here, which is going to be a forge focused world. If if we ever go negative in consumer goods just because we're sending this to a forge world, then I'll just buy them. It's not a big deal. And we have golden garrison and then We'll have, um... Our ships have been improved. Which... Oh, yeah. Then we have golden output out here, which is a new sector. I guess... Oh, we're, we're only at four out of five officials, so I guess you are now the leader of the golden output sector, but... Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to claim this for. Yeah, it's just... It's just a little early again. Our ships but I think the improved. Fallen Empire should be enough to crush them, yeah. 300,000, which is improved. absolutely, absolutely more than my fleets all combined to like several times over. So hopefully they can protect us until we, until we can build up to crisis defeating strength. I would really like to see, is our science ship, our science ship is, is getting closer. Just need them to. I might as well deactivate cloaking, because once we go into here, we're going to get found out. I don't know what this science ship is doing. I think it's glitched. Because it's been sitting there for a while. New wisdom. Mm, I'm not seeing any unbidden ships. Okay, you just go on automatic construction, sure. What are, we, what are we doing here? Oh, we could actually do that. That's good. We could also do a dimensional fleet, which would probably be pretty good. Um, cruiser hull points. We have a lot of cruisers. Okay, so they've built a station. We still can't see anything. They've built another. Alright. When will we get there? Oh, we ca oh, we can't. Complete. Okay, let's just please go anyway. We, we are in desperate need to see what the Unbidden's fleet are, are like. Wait, this citadel... That citadel's there, so that's really important. Probably gonna have to turn this into a citadel as well. In fact, yeah, I'm just gonna do that now. We are finally above our naval capacity, but this might just uh, might just destroy our progress here. But I don't I don't see much of a choice, unfortunately. And let's do. Wait, which one? Yeah, this one gets rid of shields. We should definitely do that. Yeah, let's do that. Shields, shields. Our only really big fortress station, or er, uh, bastion, is, is this one. It's the only one with actual the defense platforms, but they're probably not going to be coming around this way. It's looking more and more like these guys are headed straight for us. Or at least straight for this federation. They have bust, busted right through the... <laughs> the marauders and are attacking the kind of the leader of this federation I assume maybe not anymore probably these guys are probably the the leader 
when it comes to fleet power and stuff is they have 23 planets and I'm pretty sure they have several vassals as well so these guys are very powerful but uh, yeah lots of fleets as you can see yeah even the 300k fleet as well so Our ships we might be improved. dying here I mean we're building defensive stations and upgrading the Citadel as much as we can but uh, we have we have two titans that are perfect for countering these guys and we have a lot of ships that are perfect for countering these guys and we have defender of the galaxy uh, and we're going to be nominated for our custodianship as soon as this is done I'll do an emergency measure but Space even after all that I, I don't think it'll be enough I mean especially not if a 300 300k fleet just smashes right through my border Oh, maybe, maybe they're targeting the Federation instead. If they chose to go here instead of here, that might be what they're doing. Yeah, 300,000. What is, uh, what are these guys the doing? Have granted us they're not doing wisdom. anything. Um, hello? Wake up. Wait. Central is communication outage. The outage is resolved. Uh, wisdom. wake up, dudes. <laughs> There's a crisis. You're supposed to help. Oh no. Might be too late by the time they decide to. These are all just repeatables. Um, We don't need any of them. Might as well research that just because it'll be quicker. I guess we'll do Astral Boost. I mean, we could do the Dimensional Fleet, but I, I think the Dimensional Fleet will be pretty bad against the Armada. I don't know. Yeah, the the System dimensional fleet is complete. is smashing up this the federation right now. Okay, regulated growth has failed. Let's immediately try to become the custodian. Yeah, let's just immediately immediately become the custodian here. Looks like everyone's on board the except the nation of Rixaru, who screw those guys. <laughs> they have been our enemy since the beginning of the game. They are losing a war badly to the federation. It's actually really unfortunate that they, uh, they're they being destroyed by the Unbidden right now. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so unfair. This poor federation. 300k. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pretty much. 900,000. Pretty much a million. I mean pretty much a million is coming crashing through these poor guys systems. I, I do not envy them right now. I do not have a million fleet power, so if they're coming for me, even to our most defended station, which is this one, I guess that could be a possibility. Just 56k. We absolutely cannot do anything about it. Is our... Our defense platforms are smart, right? Yeah, they are smart. The, this is what we're going for. Just a mix of kinetic artillery and whirlwind missiles. It's kind of what we're doing on everything including our battleships. Uh, we should probably switch this to something else. Um, probably do this, actually. We can actually save this. We have no battleships being built. It's concerning, actually. That's not, that's not refreshing. That's concerning. Um, we have hired another human commander just because the... Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait. How many commanders can we have? We can only have five. We might fire the human commander, actually. How do we have five out of five? Oh, yeah, because one's our leader. Uh, maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll just fire the human commander, because this guy's psychic. The other commander that I had an opportunity to hire was absolutely terrible. Um, so I just hired one of the human ones. Where is the human commander? Let's fire him. He is a xenophobe, anyway. Where was he? He, was gr he grew up on Earth. Sorry, dude. We are over our commander limit, and you are not a psychic. So. Sucks to be you. Okay, toxic terraforming candidate, I do not care. Shroud, what can you do for us? Increase evasion? Okay. Oh, evasion plus 30%. We'll take that. Mega shipyard, okay. We might actually just spend our alloys to make this. Not, no other mega structure right now is worth it besides the mega shipyard, so I'm, I might consider starting to put alloys towards that. As you can see, I've I've stopped upgrading our Sentry Hub and Science Nexus as we don't, we just don't particularly need them right now. Investor three plus twenty five percent trade value. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, 
We still, I still don't know what to do with this habitat. I, I'm colonizing it anyway, but um, I'm mainly probably going to just use it to grow pops and settle them somewhere else. Okay, this has got to be... I'll, I'll leave this as a um, as an anchorage for now, but if, if I ever see the Unbidden even think about coming this way, then I'm going to turn that into a, the second biggest citadel in our empire as it controls this choke point. This horrible choke point that would destroy our empire, really, if it if it got destroyed. So, even in the early game, we we were like, "This is a horrible choke point." If we don't grab these systems, but still, we we just, I'm I'm still glad we decided to go this route instead of this route. Let these stupid guys have it, which are one of the only four Federation members. Th these guys joined the Federation, and no one else was allowed in. So they would allow us to join they were at peace but I see no need to join this federation no it seems like their uh, their galactic power has ceased the unbidden have uh, have cut their way through the federation pretty much and seem to be going after the nation of Rigzaru for some reason the nation that's pretty much completely destroyed and taken over by the federation so I'm not sure about their motive. They, they're also in all throughout Federation space and destroyed the <laughs> Marauders that used to be here. So, yeah. And still no word from the Continuance. So, wake up, dudes. It's, it's time to awake from your slumber. Although soon we will be the Custodian. So, that is at least a little bit of good news. And I think... I think... I think I'm going to have to change my policy when it comes to refugees as our main issue is population, correct? Hear me out. Our main issue is population and I could fix that easily, right, by flooding ourselves with refugees because I'm sure the unbidden are, are doing a number to these poor worlds here. Let me just prepare for... The influx of refugees really quickly, really quickly. Um, we have the Sanctum of the Composer as well. So we are getting we are getting um, pop growth speed from each of our telepath jobs, but it is just simply not enough, of course. I mean, we have 68 clerk jobs and another 40 clerk jobs right there necessary to, uh, necessary to complete our our planets here and we're gonna have plenty more industrial jobs here and that's even without the system being built up I'm pretty sure on this system we only have like one or two major orbitals yeah we only have two major orbitals so far so we can even get that a lot further as well so yeah I think it is time that the Shep open their doors to more citizens we have plenty of Shep 391 Shep I don't think will become <coughs> I don't think will become any sort of minority in our own place here we're probably going to do residents as we don't want them to be leaders that would be absolutely awful and decent condition sounds good um military service they're exempt from colonization forbidden migration controls or no population controls no population controls and migration controls no migration controls that's not an issue so I think I'm gonna do that and uh, I think I'm going to do refugees welcome here we go refugees refugees welcome I assume any moment now we'll probably get some maybe not maybe the unbidden are not bombing worlds no they definitely are I'm not sure why we're not getting refugees. I thought we would definitely get some. Ah, oh, here we go. The first of many from the nation of Rigzaru. Oh, here we go. Also, the Federation is getting is getting very big. Um, it seems like these guys are no longer selective when it comes to who joins their little club. Which, uh, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Okay, this is like a galactic Federation now. In fact, asking to join probably wouldn't even be a, such a bad idea at this point. I wonder what level their federation is. What? Oh, it's level 5. Wait, so level 5 federations always have extra damage to the crisis, right? Or have some kind of bonus against the crisis? 
I'm not sure whether I want to join or not. I'm not sure. I mean, it seems galaxy-wide at this point. Not joining kind of seems like a slap to the face of all of these empires. I feel like I gotta join. Like, I feel like my hand is forced to join. So, yeah. I I'm gonna join. I'm gonna join this federation. Yes, lots Based of refugees. Federation, and now we are in the federation. Human refugees arrive. Really? There was humans where? Where? From the United Yuri Nations. Okay, well, of course you're welcome here. All refugees are welcome here, of course. And, uh, yeah, we now have full view on the galaxy, which is good. This, I think this is bugged. I, I, have, I have accepted that <laughs> progression in this thing a million times, but... Ah, uh, that's whatever. Um, oh man, we're already... We're already not having our populations do their jobs. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. We are now part of the Federation. Yes, I know. Lots of refugees. Space I know. You don't have to tell me. Encountered. Um, An alien empire now speaks And to then, us in yes. The of the we divine. are... We are invited to the Federation. Friggin' comments. Oh yeah, we need this guy. And we're galactic custodians. Everything is happening here at once. Establish an embassy. Alright. Um, Federation cohesion is not doing too great. Oh, the Federation concentration is already very high. The fleet contribution is m is medium. Wow. Interesting. Um, we should definitely get strongest as soon as possible because that's probably going to be us, I assume. Uh... Yeah, we should definitely get diplomatic weight. We should get all of these things, even maybe free migration as well. Um, let's see. During an end game, ongoing end game crisis, gain twenty percent research seeds. So that's not as good as the other crisis bite, th helper things, but it is better. It is better than nothing. Um, I guess you can. Yeah, why don't you represent our interests in the Federation? Sure. Feel free. Um, I don't. I don't want individual migration treaties. I don't need to spend influence on that for, for no reason. Oh, I keep clicking on this. Yeah. See, this is like glitched. Incoming I don't know. Transmission. Invite the Federation. Yeah, just invite everybody. Okay, maybe a different envoy would fix this. That's not the same envoy, is it? I hope not. Um, embassy. Yes. New um, I guess we can summon the dimensional fleet. Not really necessary though. XP is going down. Lots of things are happening. Lots of things are happening. Oh, I get way better views on where... Wait, these guys are part of the Federation? Oh, wait, they got vassalized. They got vassalized by these guys. Okay. Yeah, these guys are definitely the biggest, baddest group in the Federation. Maybe that's why the Crisis was actually attacking them here. Kind of almost snaked down to them. Wait... Your capital is all the way up here? Oh yeah, I guess it is. I thought these guys were going to be the smallest. I thought this world and this world was their only worlds for a long time. But no, they, they got to be the biggest. Hmm. Well, anyway. The Unbidden is making sure that they're not the biggest for too long. Unfortunately. Let's see what the Senate is looking like. Okay, we can, we can focus the Unbidden. Let's do that. Yes, defeat the Unbidden. And hopefully let's pass some laws here. I don't think ending the custodianship is really our <laughs> number one thing. Okay, damage to endgame crisis factions. Yes, 100%. We need to get that passed. Um, let's abstain from everything that isn't that. Yeah, and united front. Here we go. Okay, so many things happening. But uh, the landscape of the galaxy has changed. The Unbidden are absolutely destroying almost, like, everything here. How's our population problem doing? 100% Shep. Doesn't look like as many people are wanting to come be refugees here. Wisdom. Maybe because they're only going to be residents. Which is fair enough if you had another option to go be a refugee for, then I assume they would probably do that. I just didn't think they would have too many options. Eventually the AI will get overwhelmed with refugees and they'll have less options, Incoming I assume. 
Also, they're probably a lot of them are going to the golden prost old golden endeavor. No, I guess they're not. Huh. Okay, whatever first contact this is is definitely bugged. Aliens have formed an unholy compact. Wait, a different federation? Oh. There's a rival federation on the block. Interesting. The spirits have granted us well, new um, wisdom. This is certainly not the time to be divided. Oh wow. Our cohesion is already back up. <laughs> um Alright, well can we vote on strongest? No? No one wants to do that? Why not? Can we at least make voting diplomatic? Okay, yes. Go for it. Yes, okay. Now we have a slightly higher percentage of the vote. Of course, we can still get outvoted very easily. And we're going to have to wait for people to figure this out, but... Yeah. Oh my gosh, I need to just stop investigating this. It's not... Oh, 20, 20 days. Get out of there. Okay, no more. Please, no more. <laughs> the nation of Ixara wants to establish an embassy. They even want to make research agreement. Interesting. And I guess I already have a commercial pact with them considering yeah, considering I'm in their federation. So I don't know if you ever thought that I would have a research or a, a, a corporate outpost on the nation of Rigzaru's home world. But uh, here we are. Might be a waste of influence though as uh, it's looking like they are about to die. Incoming oh yeah. Transmission. I may have uh, spent our influence on wisely here. So the unbo uh, the unbidden are on our borders. What is this? Dimensional stutter. Interesting. 20% light speed. But uh, yeah, we can absolutely not let these guys <laughs> take this station or destroy it or whatever they're going to do. So here we are. We have this is a pretty good a pretty good station. It's one of our best defensive stations. Do I have I have this station built up, but not quite as well. But anyway, yeah, I have the, I had these guys sitting in sitting in the hyperlane of uh, in orbit of the hyperlane between these two systems because I didn't know which way these guys would go. But they have chosen th coming this way, probably to come over here. I could be wrong, but yeah. And I I set them to sit in the hyperlane to make sure that they can respond quickly to any threats. Um, Red Thoy. Uh, okay. Red Throy refugees arrive. Interesting. Okay, we have... Oh, this is this is someone from a rift. Um, Skirmisher is really nice. Surgical Bombardment, Shipbreaker. I mean, Shipbreaker is nice. And Shipbreaker is nice. And Shipbreaker is nice. So when we destroy a ship, we get eight alloys. Interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I just built another fleet, so she can, yeah, she can take that one. Even though we are, we are over our leader capacity now, correct? Let's see. No, we are under? Wait, we are under our leader capacity. For commanders? We are under our leader capacity for commanders, are you sure? We still have still have our human commander from the beginning of the game. It's not very good. He's also not psychic, but ship weapons range plus 20% is really good for our artillery ships, especially these destroyers, so they don't have to die. Getting a lot of refugees, which is good. Oh, they're retreating. Okay. Our, our ships won't be as powerful. Um, not in our systems, but Heretic we are not just going to let them retreat. Okay. And they are gone. Spaceborn creature encountered. Oh, this is our psionic avatar. I was like, would I have a lone titan? No, that's our avatar. Awesome. Okay. All of these ships return. Return to sender here. Just making sure that's their home base. Alright, that is our first incursion from the unbidden defeated. And I don't see any more on the way. Lots of refugees as well. Hopefully filling out our jobs that we need. Let's see, how is this industrial station doing? It's it's pretty much maxed out. There's lots of jobs left, but we should get our construction ships that aren't doing anything too 
make sure yeah make sure all the major orbitals are set up so that we always have room yeah let's just do that that's going to be our main source of life we are going a little bit into debt and consumer goods i've also militized militarized our economy but that was that was before this debt that was a while ago but yeah we have a militarized economy capacity boosters refugees welcome all that kind of stuff we could probably go defensive wars as well but yeah we also could use an edict oh we could do forge subsidies i did not know we had that yeah i would love to do some of these but we are just absolutely destroyed when it comes to rare resources we're just having to buy them every month unfortunately i haven't found any of the trader enclaves oh i have which one? Oh, it doesn't matter which one we need all of them wait have we found more i thought i looked at this oh wait oh i'm dumb here we are. Wait, have we found all three? Reagan, Zora, Corp. We have not found the last one. I mean, we just have these guys. We'll open a relinquery, sure. Physics research. Yeah, helpful as ever. Um, also, you saw that right, if you did catch that. We do have a mega shipyard soon. Oh man, we don't have the alloys. Okay, as soon as I get the alloys, I'm gonna have to save up to get this mega shipyard. Make sure that we can have a sustainable battle against the unbidden. Our Enclave, the Crimson Riders, gave us stuff. The Crimson Riders are normally... They have been rented before. But now I guess they're not rented anymore. We are looking for tactical insight. Oh, wait. Really? Damage the Unbidden and oh, the other Unbidden. Okay. Yeah. 5,000 for damage the Unbidden? I did not know that they... I did not know. The Unbidden's exclusive reliance on energy gives us an obvious weakness to exploit. Weapons dealing extra damage to their shields should prove devastating, but if you can fit weapons that completely bypass their shields, they won't be long for this dimension. Defensively, you should be bringing your own shields to the fight to adequately counter their energy beams. Huh. You know what, just for that, I'm going to share my technology with you. It's actually a lot of good technology. And I'm also... I also want to help you build a better fleet. Just in case we need you guys in the future, in emergencies. It seems our Federation members are sending the Federation fleet straight into the Unbidden, which I respect their bravery, but I'm not too sure. I'm sending my Dimensional fleet to help them out, but the I'm, have us new I'm, I'm still not betting on them winning. Yeah. I don't know why... It was the, the case that our dimensional fleet didn't didn't just go directly. Oh, there's no fleet for them to follow anymore. Um. Okay. Well, it seems like it seems like only one of the fleets is moving to engage. Nope. It seems like both fleets are moving to engage. Never mind. This this is actually a good opportunity to uh, attack. Right now, it would only take 136 days to get here. What if we moved here? Maybe they would follow. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of unbidden fleets. Never mind, we need to play this defensively and not offensively. I take back everything. I take back. Are those guys moving to attack us? That would be really bad. Really bad. Construction complete. I don't know. I mean. It wouldn't be like end of our empire bad. Okay. They're splitting up? Maybe? Committee of technological progress. That is not at all what we want. No. They're 40% they're happy for some reason. Ruler shouldn't have opposing ethic. <laughs> AI outlawed. Oh, why are they so happy? Knowledge of fruit, research cooperative, secret knowledge, represented on the council. Wait. Really? Who's a... Oh, this guy. Oh. I mean, I guess. A official Felatrida. I don't know who that was. I'm sorry. Chant for her soul, please. Um. Yeah, I don't know what these fleets are doing. It's concerning. So where, where is a hole in our empire here? Okay, there's a hole in our main industrial station. Interesting. Let's see if we have any good governors. Not really. 
What does psychic do for a governor again? I forget. Just unity from jobs? That's not very useful. Not for this p specific world, that is. Um, neither is any of the other guys useful, though. Yeah, neither is any of the other guys. So I guess we'll just recruit this guy and uh, hope that he figures out how to run a forge at some point. Fertility preacher, sure. Resilience. Alright, well, we can do industrialist. And that's at least somewhat helpful. I think we have another... Incoming transmission. Do we have another uh, governor we could we could have? We do have another governor. Hmm. I guess I'll wait for them to reset. Council. Ancient nano missiles would be good. I don't know if we're going to use them, but... Alright, it's looking like these fleets are not headed towards us. Actually, I don't know. Well, I guess if they do, we'll be ready. Well, these guys are actually about to touch our borders here as well. It seems like the Unbidden want the nation of Rixaru bad. It's kind of their main main area of destruction here. They've just kind of snaked to it and destroyed it. So I'm glad that wasn't us. I mean, it couldn't have ha <laughs> it couldn't happen to a better group of fellers here. The ruthless capitalist, totalitarian regime, fanatic materialist, xenophobes. It just simply could not have happened to a better guy. Also, our, our chosen one here has Architect of War, which is helpful. And uh, even furtherly helpful, we have our mega shipyard set up, and I finally researched Assyrian naval yards. So we should be pretty good when it comes to shipbuilding. We should actually be very fine. In fact, the only thing we really need to do now is just increase our alloy production, and we should be good. In fact, I mean, let's just do that now, perhaps. You're unemployed? Okay. Um, traders. I mean, I would- I like traders. Don't get me wrong. Traders are great. Oh, it's the Rixie. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's plenty of forged jobs should shoot us up. We're still positive on minerals, even without like any mineral in, uh, increasing the increasing things. Us new okay, so we're already building Military Officers Association. Interesting. We're getting new factions because of all Incoming these refugees, which is something that... Oh. Okay, I, I heard the ship jumping in sound, and it's just our Federation fleet. It's looking looking a little battered as of the moment. Okay, these guys. The where they go next? New wisdom. Okay, they're going this way. Seems like everything is good for now. Although the enemy is at our doorsteps, I the can't say they aren't. The nation of Rixaru has a machine uprising, and they just they absolutely just cannot catch a break. Of course, this machine uprising means that they are at war with us since the nation of Rixaru are a vassal of a federation member which means they're in the federation member in the federation which means i get sucked into this war where even is this robot revolution oh it's in a system where the unbidden is okay let's see here oh they've already wait this these are all robot yeah this is an entire robot planet here of course they're going to have a robot revolution if you're just oppressing them. And then they're getting assimilated here. This is absolutely what the Rixie deserve. <laughs> this stupid nation of Rixaru. You flew too close to the sun. These guys probably researched jump technology as well. And called in the Unbidden. And they have got their just desserts from this. I mean they have been absolutely destroyed by the Unbidden. And their stupid pursuit of science. And their stupid pursuit of materialistic robot things they just got destroyed further as if they needed further damage to their already absolutely gone empire how many how many worlds does this even have they're cordial with us that's funny um is it just these two worlds here or is it also rix rix is currently being being bombarded by the main uh yeah extra dimensional armada one the original this 300,000 almost fleet so yeah their capital is being bombed by the 300,000 fleet so 
It's it's definitely a targeted attack the unbidden are doing to these poor people. Of course, that leaves a lot of them being refugees here. Forty percent of all people on Golden Aspiration are Rixie. Let's see. Six percent I don't know. Eight percent. Uh twenty-four and then one percent, yeah. A large portion of our empire actually right now is Rixie. Let's see. Let's see how much of our entire empire. 13% of the population is actually Rixie at this point, just from being refugees. So, of course, like, that's a good thing. We, we have plenty of jobs for the Rixie to do. In fact, we have more mining jobs for our glorious Rixie friends. Yeah, Rixie, you need to go to the mines, unfortunately. Yeah, buddy. Mining time. We, uh, we're at 44 minerals a month here, which is fine. It's fine. In fact, it's so fine that I'm building another industrial station. It's going to be a mix industrial station between minerals and industrial, because there's two different mineral deposits here. And uh, it's going to be in this system. So we have, uh, we have more than doubled the size of our empire here. Let's see. Our empire size itself doesn't reflect that it. it's only 100 more, but we are, yeah, plus 30% technology cost, and it's only going to get more. Um, okay, so they have the pirates. A bold move. Where where are these pirates? Oh, they're uh, they're plenty far away. All right. I wonder if the pirates will fight these marauders. Ooh, the unbidden here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where these guys will go after they fight and destroy the Rixie. I'm not even sure we can win at this point. Where is the? I don't know where all the seventy. 77k fleets are in fact i'm actually resuming construction of the century hub just to just to see everything having perfect intel would allow me to actually start setting out my fleets which are like perfectly designed and ready to fight the unbidden i just need more information on where all of their fleets are because if i send them out and then i need to bring them home immediately and i have no way of doing that yeah that would be bad news like, for example, I would love to go fight these fleets, especially this 300k fleet, just to make sure that <clears throat> this 300k fleet cannot gang up with a bunch of other smaller fleets and enter my borders at some point. Like, a 300k fleet would absolutely smash this station, no matter how many defensive stations I put on it, no matter how upgraded they are. It would just get smashed, unfortunately. We could probably change out these things here. Yeah, defense grid supercomputer... And fire rate's good, but shield overcharger's also good. Is that for... That's only for the star base and defense platforms. I'm, I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking the command center's actually better than the shields, even though shields are good against the unbidden. We just... I mean, mainly our fleets are going to be doing the fighting at our borders. We just do not have the... We just do not have the stations to compete with unbidden. It's not... It's not really in the cards for us at the moment. So let's fill up this station. We have plenty of alloys at this point, and more to come. So let's fill up these stations. In fact, I should probably, I should probably start defending this station as well, just in case they make some sneaky time play up through this empire. Hopefully they don't. A lot of our, <laughs> a lot of our money actually comes from this empire here. Look, 400 trade value just on this one planet, and uh, 20 food. So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Actually, let's establish a branch offices on, on this one too. Yeah. Actually, we can we can stop worrying about converting people at this point and I think worry just about ourselves here. Um Ah, ah, we'll never stop with the temples of prosperity. Who am I kidding? Let's see. Do I have Oh, I don't have a branch office here. Okay. Hold on. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have a lot more to do here. Yeah, let's do that. Wait. What about here? Here I have. Here I don't have. I don't want to use all of our influence. Of course, we still need we still need influence to do our Senate things. We're currently building the Galactic Defense Force and I just passed remove custodian term limits. I have no desire to become the emperor of any kind. I'm just making sure that we don't run out cuz it seems like this Galactic Crisis is going to be fought for a long time, unfortunately. They have plenty of anchors and uh, plenty of fleets and we are just not 
We are just not prepared to go on the offensive just yet. Soon, maybe. But not yet. Not yet. I gotta I gotta make sure that we are defended first and foremost before we go out and attack. We don't need thought enforcement. We'll just do star base capacity, sure. We gotta make sure my borders are defended before I can safely send out our fleets. We gotta leave some fleets behind, of course, to defend our borders. Because uh, I'm not sure, even even our best star station, I'm not sure we'll take out even one unbidden fleet. Maybe. It would be a close fight. It would be a close fight. It's not something we want. Because the unbidden, of course, they don't conquer. They just destroy. So if this close fight resulted in a loss, I would lose this citadel. Completely. Gone. No citadel. I would have to rebuild a citadel from scratch. And you know how long that takes? Yeah, that would be really bad. So I'm about to launch my... First major counter-offensive against the Unbidden he Heretic fleet here. Engaged. Hopefully this goes as well as I expect it to. Okay, no ships lost, it looks like. More refugees. Shocker. I think there's two more fleets in here. Yeah, there's two more fleets. Uh, our fleets are splitting for some reason, the which isn't good. Granted us new wisdom. Many, Heretic many refugees. Engaged. Okay. Oh wait, there was three fleets here, which is fine. Each of our fleets should be able to fight an unbidden fleet one-on-one -on -one pretty easily. Two more fleets here, so let's look at these combat records. Um, okay, we got them all. Didn't lose any. Awesome. Um, we lost a destroyer. Awesome. They lost a whole bunch more than that. Amazing. Uh, oh, we upgraded the sentry spire. Let's do that. We need We need intel on the enemy. Honestly, we don't need to, uh, we don't need to upgrade our mega shipyard as of the moment. It's not really important. Um, yeah, let's, let's get rid of this destroyer. Yeah, there we go. And then I think we're good. I just gotta watch that no one comes from this side. They are bordering us, by the way. But, uh, all the unbidden over here definitely seem like they're <laughs> more focused on destroying every last bit of the Rixen. Oh, they just finished. That's scary. I wonder where this 200k fleet is going. I maybe should have stopped them over here instead of over here, but Heretic station engaged. I don't know. I just I just saw a whole bunch of fleets and they were all split up, so I just kind of had to. I don't know. Available. And there we go. Let's see how we did. Looks like we did fine. We lost two more destroyers. Awesome. Where are those destroyers? Yeah, let's get rid of them can't afford another no stay by the stay by the gate here's a Our is this an anchor i think improved. that might be an anchor okay amazing wait oh they left they left the habitat in the home system interesting all right um where is the 200k fleet gone that is concerning we have lost them see this is why we need the spire um, there's more fleets here. I would love to take out this anchor as well, but I don't, not sure it would be a good idea. I think we might need to get back. If that 200k fleet surprises us, catches us off guard, it's 155 days until we get back. I guess I'll, yeah, I gotta go back. I would love to take out these fleets. In fact, how many days would it take? 54? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if we can go 54 days. How long would it take to get to this hyper relay? 130 days. Okay, yeah, no, we need to do that. We're 130 days away. If the the 200k fleet shows up on our border here, well, it might be curtains for us. We're cutting a hole right through the Unbidden's territory to finally take out the extra dimensional fleet to number one, but we kind of got a little split engaged. up while doing so, unfortunately. Um, this might go poorly for us, a little bit. About, okay, I was gonna say about half of our fleets are here, but the rest have come in. The Galactic Defense Force, I think, took a beating. Okay, destroyers. I don't know if I'm the only one who's actually building it, but uh, it's fine as it doesn't, I mean, it's still a good thing as it doesn't count towards my my naval capacity. Okay, they are gone. They are gone. And I think... I think I might just keep hunting down fleets. I don't see any threat near our place. I 
Could also hunt down anchors. I don't know how many they have. They have 17. So that's a little bit too many for me to just hunt them all down and then snipe their... their capital. So I think I'm just gonna go hunt as many fleets as I can to stop their advance. And then... And then reevaluate my options. The Unbidden's grip on what used to be the uh, Rixen. I don't even know if there is a Rixen anymore. I don't even see Rixen. Is there a Rixen? Do they exist? Rixaru. Wait, is there no more Rixen in the galaxy? I think there might not be. I don't think they own a single system, do they? Well, that is what they get. If they do own a system, I don't see it. And I'm not gonna go uh, rummaging around through... Okay, I gotta, I gotta delete this station. The stupid robot uprising took this station and Heretic station turned it into engaged. a... Uh, yeah, there we go. But, uh, yeah. We just took out the last anchor over here, at least the last one that I can see. And now we're just hunting down the remainder of the fleets over here. Only after the Rixen all died, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, world. it happens. It's looking like, uh, port. they might be coming from this direction after us. I mean, there is no Rixen left. Let's see. Is there a Rixen left? Red Thori. Red Thori. <laughs> this is the hub. Um, the hub that is the robot uprising. I'm not I'm not seeing any Rixen. Yeah, looks like the Rixen are completely gone. I, I must have missed the, the pop up. Okay, we have our final station here. Probably our final station. I'm not making any promises, but this is probably gonna be our last station. The Golden Aspiration and uh yeah, it's gonna be another industrial station just to keep pumping out those ships. It's also gonna be a mining station to keep up with the demand but yeah that'll probably be our last probably be our last habitat we have the golden endeavor the golden pursuit the golden aspiration the golden process the golden insight the golden formation the golden garrison we have the golden opportunity which is kind of become a refinery station actually that and a uh, station to hold pops when we don't need them. We have turned on all of our little uh, edicts when it comes to helping us in combat. So, And we're still doing alright when it comes to rare resources. The only thing we're down on is volatile modes, which... Let's just do that. Let's, let's, do, let's do this. And then we have the golden aspiration, of course. We just went over that one. And then the golden output, which is part of this output sector over here. So yeah, that about sums it up. That's what we got working with, and it's probably the final state of our empire. Of course, you can see exactly how our worlds are set up when I scrolled through them if you want to pause, but this one, this one in particular is, uh, is quite the habitat. Quite the habitat. Sanctum of the Composer, probably the crown jewel of my empire. I love that thing. Yeah, it's looking like the Unbidden are are coming this way, which is concerning. We only have one fleet back here to defend. So, it is actually a bulwark retaliator, so in, f in friendly systems, plus 30% fire rate. Should be able to defend against any unbidden attack. We have this guy who's, uh... This is the GDF force, right? Is this... That's the GDF fleet? Oh, no, it's not. The GDF fleet's over here. Yeah, the GDF fleet doesn't have titans. What am I thinking? Heretic station engaged. But, um... Fleet that is our engaged. that is our Titan fleet, and it's controlled by this guy. I ran out of uh, recruitable recruitable um, Shep leaders, so he'll have to do. I mean, he's really good at defending. Don't get me wrong. Where missing an action? Do these these guys don't have their borders open to us or something? Why, why would we be missing an action? Why are any of our fleets missing an action? Missing an action. That's going to mess up our reinforcements of those fleets too. That's really rude. Increased firing rate? Ooh, 20% extra fire rate. Um, okay, well let's just gather all of our fleets that didn't go missing an action for no reason. I think that's all of them besides 
this fleet, which is the one with the Titan. Another one of these fleets have a Titan as well, this one, but... Alright, let's see. Can we all get there? Yeah, we can get there. Why? Why? Who closed their borders on us or something? Evading heretics. I'm not sure. Evading heretics. Where? Whoa, that's too close for comfort. And that's definitely too close to comfort for my level 10 amazing, brilliant, uh, like, particles, expertise, biology, industry, eye for talent, great researcher, everything else leader. Heretic fleet definitely engaged. too close for comfort. Okay, so we've taken these guys out. Um, is this all of our fleets? Okay. Definitely need to come up here and figure this out. One of our stations is beset by enemies. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Where? Is that... Are you just trolling me? Okay. Interesting. Heretic station engaged. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this all sorted out. Oh, there's an anchorage over here. How many anchors... So this is 18 now. Even after us destroying all those anchors, they're just still making more. Fair enough, I guess. It's normally how it goes. We have to have an overwhelming presence to kill all of the unbidden like that. I might leave one of these guys to take out all these unbidden. In fact, I am going to do that. I'm going to leave these guys and have them comb through these systems for the unbidden. Because they're just going to set up more anchors over here. So... And then the rest of the fleets can respond to the threat. And these guys, these guys can play defense. That is the current battle plan. Alright. A, uh... All, all, all of our fleets are gearing up for a massive battle here. We have a large portion of the Unbidden here and a large portion of the Unbidden's reinforcements the here. Are after our so, I'm pretty sure I've also taken out most, if not all, of the Unbidden anchors this side of the galaxy and took out the remaining fleet that was attacking these guys so this is about the final of the final push into their territory let's see how many anchors they have apparently they have 16 anchors but I'm not I'm not 100% sure that's true whoa why are those ships so much ahead of everyone else wait 32 days versus 21 days oh there, there's gonna be some ships late to the party here but I should it should be fine. Heretic fleet engaged. All right, the first wave has come in. Let's slow this bad boy down and watch as our valiant heroes fight the unbidden mess that's here. Lots of missiles, lots of lasers. Our fleet has kind of split in two and backup has arrived. You can definitely tell our fleets <laughs> with Counselor the difference Chandler between our fleets and the Galactic Defense Force fleets here. Yeah, it seems like we are surrounding them at this point. Destroying many, many of their ships. Let's see, we have... Oh! Century Array is concluded, so we have perfect vision on everything. Awesome. Let's take a look at our battle without the uh, with the HUD on. Seems like we are definitely winning this. Most of them are already dead. So, yeah. All of our Titans and the Galactic Defense Force are just pelting them from afar while our cruisers take a little bit more of engagement Space in the front. Look at this guy. He's bold. Yeah, it seems like... It seems like that massive formation of fleets had no chance. Wow, look at this. That is cool. I'm gonna take a screenshot. That was one cool... I don't know. What would you even call that? Convergence? <laughs> they all converge together. Let's see. Oh! I almost waited a little too long to see what actually happened. So we lost eight cruisers. Another two cruisers, some destroyers, some, some more destroyers, and some more cruisers. Hmm. Not too much. Less than 20 ships overall, it seems like. Unless I'm counting wrong. Now it looks like less than 20. And then these guys lost... Lots. And their void layer is complete. Sorry, Zatak, but uh, your Zatak is over. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Alright, let's see here. Why did this fleet not jump in? Oh, that's a dimensional fleet. They're slow. You know what, Dimensional Fleet, just... Can you just take out this? 
Just, just do my chores for me, Dimensional Fleet. It's fine. All right. Our, our, our fleets need no break. It is time to assault them once again. One of our stations is beset by enemies. Oh, yeah, of course we would like to purchase a service. Soon we'll jump in. Heretic station engaged. Let's slow this down and watch the beauty that is their destruction again. This is a lot of fleets, by the way. This isn't just one. 65k, 265k. This is large amounts of 65k. And this fleet is already shredded from that distance, looks like. Stopped right in their tracks. Yeah, just a few battleships left and the rest are phasing right out of existence. Yes, sir. It is a beautiful day for the ship. And here we go. The convergence event the is happening again. Let's take a picture. I like the look of it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done taking a picture. We have gained a colony. What? Wait, we... We, <laughs> we are in control of Rixaru. Wow. That's crazy. If you ever told me that we would control a habitat above the Rixaru's homeworld, the Rix's homeworld, the Rix... Rixen? What? Let me look at my population demographic. Rixy, yes. If you told me we were in above the Rixie's homeworld that has been smashed into bits and in a, in a void habitat, I would have been like, really? But we're pacifists. How did we get here? But uh, <laughs> circumstances have just have just put us here in this position. The Rix's shattered homeworld, our glorious habitat above it, and uh, the Rixen no more. Really, all of their own doing. I assume the Unbidden attacked them because they researched the technology that brought them into this galaxy. Looks like we didn't lose too many ships here before I lose this pop-up. Look at our little ships go. But yeah, the Rixen are our main antagonists of this playthrough. Pretty much the only people in the galaxy who don't really like us. Let's see. Uh, diplomatic map mode. Okay, no, no. We want to go opinion map mode. Yeah, everybody in the galaxy freaking loves us. Except uh, except these guys, apparently. The Galactic Red Thory regime. Oh yeah, they're disloyal for some reason. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. But everyone besides those guys who are just bitter about us controlling them, <laughs> they, uh, they like us a lot. So the only guys, the only rivals we had fell to this people who actually, who, you know, are separatists and actually survived everything, including the Unbidden's Assault. They just, they just survived everything and are just still sitting here. Kind of an, as an insult to the grave of all the Rixen. And now the Rixen are just all up in my systems doing the jobs that no one wants unfortunately like being a clerk as a cyborg too ugh and being being residents in a foreign system and they brought it all upon themselves the, the robot revolution that even gave us their capital like if there was no robot revolution we would never control their capital in the in the beginning so the robot revolution the unbidden they all brought it upon themselves with their materialism which is beautiful justice. Justice being served. And I think... Extra Dimensional Armada 2. Did the numbers reset or is this actually only the second one? Because that's one of the originals. Okay, no. 9, 3. Okay. Wow, they, they're getting a lot of reinforcements. But uh, I'm, I'm certain that we'll be able to handle them. And at this point, we're kind of pushing them back until the end here. Yeah, let's just go and uh, stop their advance once and for all. As we defeat more and more fleets on our way, on our final approach... Oh wow, look at all those Galactic Defense Heretic Force fleet fleets. Engaged. Here we go. Now all of you join together. Yeah, we just shred them. Even one fleet is enough to absolutely shred these guys. Oof. Deleted. Yeah, we are making our final Heretic approach. Oh, one more for the road. Could barely switch my camera back to see it. It says they have a lot of anchors left. Also, we're winning. But, um... Heretic station it says they engaged. have a lot of anchors left, but I... I don't believe it. I don't trust it. 
I think we can... Yeah, we're already destroying the portal. There we go. The galaxy is a safer place. And I assume the victory, victory screen is coming soon. I found the warlock. And yeah, I think we have made a very successful Gigacorp here. I mean, we have a level 10 capital. Look at this. Plus 23 stability. 47 amenities, which we don't need. But 475% governing ethics attraction. And 47 base, just more resources from jobs. 40%, 47% more. I mean, how much, how much is each priest making in Unity, for example? Let's see. Yeah, each priest is making 20. 20 Unity. Complete. And uh, this is a level 10 ascension, but all of our planets are ascended a, at least a little bit. Except that one and this one. All, all of our classic planets. Honestly, we could have probably won the game with just our five starting habitats here. End of the Idrit hub. Oh, we're not at war anymore. Awesome. But uh, yeah, this trade station is also level 10, plus 95% clerk value. This station alone is providing 2,000, 2,079 trade, and we still have 68 jobs left. Let's see, how much does each trader give us in trade? Around 8 to 10. 8 to 10. So if they're thrifty, 10. Yeah. So, 10 for thrifty pops. Which is very, very good. And, yeah. This foundry station, it's level 9. Couldn't quite get it to 10, but let's see. Each each foundry worker is making 12, 12 alloys with 2.7 2 .7 minerals. So, we're making way more alloys than even it costs in minerals. Yeah, uh, metallurgist upkeep minus 87.5%. So, yeah. I, I, I can't imagine getting much taller than this empire. And this is, of course, without the... Um, I never got to actually build the, the mega structures. Um, you know, the matter decompressor and the Dyson Sphere. So, just add a few extra thousand on top of all of this. And, yeah. And you can, as you can see, our techs are still super fast. And our... Let's see... Our edicts are still only in like the 300. Like I could get hearts and minds, will to power all for like 300 a month when we make 4,000, almost 5,000. So, yeah. Victory is currently not possible. Why is victory not possible? Is there still unbidden left in the galaxy? Hmm. I guess there's an unbidden. I mean, we have. We have, um perfect vision over the galaxy at least we should i guess we'll send our fleets to go and take out the last few the stations i guess wisdom. i don't i don't know if we Heretic need to get rid of all of them but engaged. we will it's not an issue and then we will win the game what does the shroud have to say for the final time increase lifespans sure oh no didn't work i'm pretty sure we're approaching Heretic the final engaged. unbidden station here and yeah the galactic economy should make a quick recovery our spiritual armor has weathered yet another storm i think that one is probably more uh, apt especially considering our economy has not been ravished in fact our economy is booming more than ever in almost every way it's it's pretty insane plus 6k a month probably more after everything is settled so yeah the shep golden church has won here is the victory screen and yeah i think that about does it if you like the video, feel free to like the video, and if you want to see more videos, subscribe. Also, feel free to comment anything, and uh, if you want to name something in one of these playthroughs, like a planet or fleet, just put it in the comments, and I'll try to get to it. And to end the video, I'll give you guys a real quick rundown on what happened to our mortal enemies, the Ricks. I have recolonized their destroyed world, renamed it New Ricks, and made it a resort for our people. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe a little tasteless, but you know, it's fine. And the great thing about resorts is they always have 100% habitability. So even with our non-adaptive asses, we have 100% habitability and we're just chilling on uh, the dead ricks. And of course, we've taken over their habitats. 
and are culling their robot population. Oh, I guess we just finished culling it. Nope, we're still purging some robots here. Yeah, we definitely don't want any e-robots, as uh, <laughs> they've already given us enough trouble. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.